Hey everyone, the Talking Dads podcast is brought to you by Little Scholars Early Learning Center. Whether your family needs infant care, a preschool program, or before and after school care, Little Scholars' highly rated step-up to quality programs provide quality early childhood education at an affordable price. Visit www.littlescholars.net to get in contact with an enrollment specialist and schedule a tour of any of their five Lake County campuses. Here's the deal. Talking Dads fans are getting a little bonus Mention that you heard about them uh, through our podcast and when you tour and you'll receive $25 off of your registration fee. Again, that's Little Scholars Early Learning Center, where children learn, play, and grow together. We are also brought to you by Pub Fredo Gastropub. Uh, Pub Fredo was voted Best Gastropub in Cleveland in 2019 by Cleveland Magazine Silver Spoon Awards. We love Pub Fredo. Their menu is chef-inspired, always pushing the limits of traditional pub fare. Uh, the other night I had a burger i believe it was called the pub burger it was incredible cooked perfectly it was amazing uh and you won't have a problem pairing your favorite item on the menu with their great selection of local craft beers crafted cocktails and of course an amazing bourbon and whiskey selection i went with the uh bullet tenure uh, with my pub burger all of this in a cozy fun comes you are atmosphere you can check them out at pubfredo.com and on facebook and instagram at pubfredo gastropub we are also brought to you by Marky Fresh Barbershop in Menor, Ohio. Bro, I love Marky Fresh. It's the best, isn't it? Dude, I get cut there like every three weeks. My kid gets cut there eh, every month every and now a half then. or so. Month and a half, two months, something like that. They do such a good job. The environment I, is phenomenal. Everybody's awesome there. Can I tell you a secret? Please. I don't even give a shit about the haircut. It is so much freaking fun going there. Just to hang out. Yeah. I have such Just a have good a time. time. Every time, man. Yeah. You but get you get caught. They you want to you want to be in there. They're fast. Oh yeah, their whole app, everything, oh, booking to get in. So easy. It's so convenient and easy. But you get caught up. Oh yeah. Because you just want to hang out There's, and talk with these guys. You know what the word is? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. So many shenanigans. You don't want to leave. <laughs> it's so much fun. But honestly, they do do a fantastic job. They really do. I look way better when I leave than when I get you re- in there. You really do. I I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Marky Fresh. Yeah, book book at markyfresh.com. Book, get in, stay fresh. Hey, what's up, podcast? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Talking Dads. Uh, This week's special guest is Jim McHugh, and uh, we had an amazing episode. Maybe one of my favorite episodes ever. I don't don't know. I love them all, but um, we talked uh, men's health, uh, really human being health, uh, and preventative maintenance and getting checked out. And things that can happen, I, I got to tell you, this is an episode that everyone needs to listen to, man, woman, child, uh, dad, mom, whatever. Uh, check it out. Share it with your friends. Uh, let's get a conversation going because this was really insightful, a really good conversation. Uh, and I'm so glad that we did it. Uh, check it out. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. In a world where moms continue to dominate parenting authority and a father's role is minimized in society, two dads take on the toughest parenting topics on a weekly basis, all while drinking bourbon. They are the Talking Dads. All right, boys. We rolling. It does smell decent it here. Like downtown Willoughby in here. <laughs> sure does. Speaking of that, we are in beautiful downtown Guys, Willoughby. Captured a really nice downtown aroma. <laughs> we pump it in here as yeah. much as possible. Mm. Yeah, it's an outside. Uh, it's an outside aroma that just comes right in and That's sticks impressive. with us. Let's leave the door open all day. <laughs> uh, speaking of, we are at the collab by Notion. Uh, beautiful downtown Willoughby, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, our buddy Jim is here. Jim or James? What do you really go by? Honestly, you can call me whatever you want. Okay. All right. So we got Dick here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was gonna call him Tim, but Dick works. Dick Goddard with your AccuWeather forecast. Yeah. Oh, rest in peace, Dick Goddard. I know. Ah, oh, what a great, great guy. <laughs> Cloudy with a transfer. Wool- <laughs> Wooly Bear Fest is oh, coming up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what that is. Before we go too far down that, <laughs> I don't even know uh, what that is. Isn't the fall? I have no idea. Uh, before we get too far into that, uh, why don't you give us your dad profile and we'll get started here. All right. Yeah. Good dad profile. So um, I've got a son, uh, Gannon. He's just about to turn five. And Delaney is my daughter. She's seven. 
Um, so rocking two kids and the wife. Awesome. All right. Very cool. Um, what, uh, what do you do for a living? What do you kind of like, what's your background? Give us something to go off of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> we go we off anything. Start? Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a computer doctor Okay. or janitor, whichever way you want to look at it. I'm a nerd. <laughs> master um, of the custodial arts. Master of the custodial arts. In computers. computers. And, uh, yeah, basically if stuff goes wrong, I do it. Okay. Fix it. Um, work for Cleveland Cliffs out of, uh, downtown Cleveland. Okay. It's a USA mining company. Um, and I've been there for about, it'll be three years this year. It's my second tour. I like to call it my tours. Uh, <laughs> was there back in 2012 and then the economy had some some trouble mm-hmm. um but uh back again and yeah just cool doing my thing very cool uh so being the uh, the tech guy that you are have you been the uh the go-to for everyone when they have to do all their freaking zoom meetings now and uh, you know i don't want to <laughs> say everyone uh, my boss uh, also a friend um which works out really well is sean it, also a dad mm-hmm. um he is a major contributor in the team, a working manager. So mm-hmm. it's the two of us, we kind of field all of the requests that comes in, whether it's for Zoom or Teams or... Right. But yeah, to your point, we haven't really been in the office since March. Well, um, yeah. So it's a long stint. And uh, yeah, we're definitely leveraging all of the remote technology that we can to try yeah. to keep up with the demand. Of yeah, the that's got to be kind of a pain in the ass, especially when you're trying to explain what to do. Someone like, did you try unplugging it first? Right. right. <laughs> Did you reboot? Did you reboot? Turn it off. Did you try that? You, you okay. Turn it back on. <laughs> Would you just look at it? <laughs> Would, you just look, <laughs> Would you just look at it? Would you just look at that? Just look at that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I one of the positive things that I've tried to take away from all of this pandemic stuff is that it's pretty amazing to, to go around and see different companies of different sizes, like immediately pivot Seriously. and and like have some really good success doing it. And that doesn't happen without guys like you and and the technology that's out there you know Um, i appreciate that i mean it's 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 us but it's the flexibility of the employees too right um it's it's your people Mm -hmm. it's your company if you hire the right people they're going to do the right thing under the right circumstances and even the wrong circumstances so um i i would love to take credit and say that you know it's all us and it's our awesome it staff and everything and we do we have a great it staff right um, but yeah, our users are awesome. They're resilient. Um, and they've been able to pivot so quickly that we have had kind of minimal intervention really with the whole company's success. I mean, we're there, right? right? Yeah. We're going to be there right. and we're going to do our thing. But yeah, I mean, people, people make it happen. Yeah. It, it's crazy. I'm just so interested to see how the landscape of like business in general changes because these comp like big, big companies are now understanding that like, yeah, Maybe we might we don't need, need all these buildings. Seven buildings. Right. Yeah. You know, like, like, like we keep we, saying like progressive, man. Mm-hmm. Those places have it. been like empty. Have yeah. you, did you? Okay. Yeah. I was there for six years. Great company. And same thing. You know, you got all those buildings, all this real estate. Do you need it? Yeah. Right. You're like, oh, everybody's working from home. You know? So it's like, yeah. Probably yeah, I mean, save I a lot of money know. by not having all these right. buildings open, running all this power, having all the, I mean, just the space alone. Those buildings are interesting to see. Not what, cheap. No, no, no. But I mean, like that, those buildings come with different types of jobs and different, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, how do you leverage? I mean, at the end of the day, that's a tough, for that's any a tough company, thing. the bottom line is the bottom line. And so there, there's got to be some equation that everyone's running constantly to say, okay, what we're bringing in versus what we're putting out. And if we could cut these expenses, you know, I don't know. It'll just be very, I'm, I'm kind of, I nerd out on that kind of stuff. Well, so I mean, it's, it's interesting though. I mean, then you talk to people though, they're like, man, I really miss going to the office. Especially, I mean, if you have, and I, I mean, honestly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to say you it like, yeah, I was trying to, <laughs> I know. Hey, you know exactly what I mean. So like, the office so but like I talked to uh, Spence because he's always, he's worked from home forever, but he's like, dude, I yeah. kind of like to go in the office and right. it's pretty tough some days when you're just at home Absolutely. and you can't get away from the kids and as terrible as that sounds, but no, but it, it, it's hard to get work done sometimes because they want your attention all the time and. Yeah, it's, it's like stuff. the Kool-Aid man knocking on your door. Exactly. At the worst oh, time yeah. possible. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you glass bastard. <laughs> Who's going to fix no, that? I, but I mean, seriously, though. I think my that, dad's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's so good. That was a day Cook was the best, yeah, man. So oh, he's so good. Mm. But no, to your uh, point, I mean, dude, I've been since March, right? Um, Luckily, uh, I hate labels. 
I hate labels, but I am, I guess if you're going to put one on me, I'm an introvert. So it's easy for me. Like, I listen, I've been doing this shit since like 2000 and before that. I was born in 84. Uh, I was living in my parents' basement playing computer games and nerding out. Mm-hmm. You know, so for me, this is like, oh, okay. I've trained for this. I've, yeah. <laughs> I've trained for my this whole, whole life. <laughs> for this moment. Did my doctor shine. Oh. <laughs> Come, yeah, on. I've been, Come on. I've been, literally, well, I'm, I'm made for this. I'm born for this. That's yeah. great, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been great. So, I, do, I mean, listen, I miss my friends. I miss people. My coworkers are awesome, but um, do I miss the commute? No. No, absolutely right. not. Do I miss the mileage on the car? No. No, that's um, true. There's a lot of things. So, yeah, to your guys' point, I, I'm with you. I kind of nerd out on this stuff. I don't know how you couldn't. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're kind of with it, if you were ever in those kind of environments, office, cubicles, corporate, and then you look at things now, you'd have to be kind of intrigued to like, what's the landscape going to look like now? Right. Yeah. Because it's going to affect everyone, right? Right. Like, I. From a ch- so I own child care centers as a my day job. I love that. Um, by the way. Thank you. Um, and that's certainly ah. affected us. I mean, people are staying home, and they're keeping their kids home. Right. You know? yeah. So that's changing. So how do we change our you know service pr- platform right. to, how do you pivot? to is, adjust? Is that have you seen a lot less people or Tons. yeah? Okay. So what do you do for that? What, how do you pivot? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> still working on so, that part. It, yeah, it's been such a roller coaster of. Uh, you know, it's weird. We're in one of those industries that is private, but supported by public. government, public, right. yeah, public yeah. interest. So uh, we're what you call a publicly funded child care center, which means that we accept vouchers for low income housing and stuff like that. Uh, there's lots of benefits. And um, and that was kind of our business model from the beginning is that we wanted to provide five star child care for everyone. Like you shouldn't have to be well off in order to be based. Correct. Correct. Um, And so like, it's tough. Like there's, you know, people in the service industry are working now, but not as many hours, you know? So it's, well, I'm going to, I want to come two days a week. And then it's like, well, our, our income has been cut or our revenue has been cut so much that we've tried to, to do other, you know, it's, it's just tough. That's tough, man. So I guess what I was getting at was the, um, in the beginning it was you know we got shut down and then you can open up but at like it was like 35 percent capacity really which doesn't do anything for us i'm here to tell you that's <laughs> not gonna help. it's not even that's not gonna work <laughs> um but then they supplemented with these grant opportunities right and so they were you would apply for these grants and you would have to spend them on covid related things so Toilet increasing paper. yeah that that actually was one of them really? <laughs> yeah was that difficult to find for a while? Was oh, that like, yeah, because yeah, I mean, I was like, like for you guys, else. like, it's just, you it's know, terrible. what's crazy is when it first started. So we get toilet paper like once a month delivered. Okay. And like, we have these stock rooms that are just, this is toilet paper. Full. Everybody take note of Ian's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're, I know, we're the, I, I know how to get <laughs> in there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I know exactly where to um, go. But no, I remember when it first started, we had just gotten our delivery and like all the stuff was crazy. And I was just like taking pictures like, guys, we're safe. You were, I remember that. You're like, you show like a closet so filled with toilet you paper. Need something, I got you. I'm, I'm like, I'm guy. literally in need of toilet paper. I'm not the type of person going out and like buying 30 packages right, of them. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm watching people walk out of Sam's Club with like carts full. I'm like, you asshole. Oh, yeah. Like literally, my grandmother needs toilet paper. Like we can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> literally an asshole that needs to be wiped a lot. Apparently. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Do you want to bring your chair up by the sorry, way? Sorry, grandma. Yeah. Yeah. You can bring your chair up if you want. Let me show you. Actually, I can't really. Oh, you're just talking about height? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about... Sinking. Oh, yeah, you're okay. stuck there, man. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> just stand up all the way. Please hold. There we go. There you there go. Okay. You can even go a little bit higher, I Watch think. the calves. Yeah, it was too depressed. <laughs> I know, you kept, you just kept sinking. I was it watching was you. Depressed. I was like... <laughs> so depressed. I was getting uncomfortable. Um, but no, so as this whole thing has gone on, uh, they keep changing the grant structure. They keep changing what we're allowed to do, and, and, and now we're allowed to do this, but if you stay at lower... You know, it's it's insane. So okay. it's just a constant pivot for us. And um, I would like to see us get to a point where it's, it just is what it is. I don't even care anymore. Like, I want us to be able to move forward with a certain plan and say, 
we're not going to change this next month. Right. Because that's just what it's been. And, and my team's just amazing. They've been able to, just they've, they've taken every single change in stride. Yep, um, just got to adjust to it. And But I feel bad, you know. I mean, we're, we're here as a, a service. And to tell parents like, hey, nope, can't, we can't do that for you. I know we've right. done it for the last seven years that you've been with us, but can't we can't do it, do it anymore, right. you know. Ran yeah, I was, I was uh, one of those. Yeah, you were one yeah. of them. Like, it was and, tough, you know. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? Be like, well, right. Fuck you, Ian. <laughs> yeah, listen, Ian. I know we're boys. <laughs> they on. need the care. They this need time. you, man. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, man. I, I get don't it. Get to some of the breaking kneecaps. <laughs> I told hey, him, man. Claw on the uh, the white claw on the. Uh, 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 I wasn't going to tell the viewers what I'm indulging in, but yeah. What do you have there? You want to review seltzer? I like it. Have you had the Corona seltzer yet? No, I'm not no. that cool, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Find something to like stick with it. The way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Ronas. Right Corona. now. That's, right that's now. what you want to drink. It's a bold move, Cotton. Yeah, I was thinking about not doing it. <laughs> right? Like, do you remember at the start of this? Wow. Corona's yeah. like stock took a wow. fucking hit because yeah. people were like, I'm not drinking Corona. I'm gonna tell yeah. you what the, the that's what was the first thing that me and my boss did was when this stuff hit the fan, um and sorry viewers, normally I swear like a sailor. It's okay, um, you don't have to. I'm, I like gonna, it. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull it back. So, um, normally, you know, we went out, uh, for drinks on the Friday before we ended up getting sent home. And just as a joke, cause we didn't, you, you didn't know how serious it was. No, we not at all. Listen, no idea. I don't, I don't even listen to the news. I don't watch the news typically. Um, and, uh, so, you know, when it all hit, it just, you, we went to the bar, we had a Corona, you know, yeah. and we were yeah. just like laughing our balls off like, ah, oh, Corona, you know? And then literally that next week. HR sent us home. Like, if, if you oh my have a reason to be here, you should probably not be here. And I was like, wait, what? And then it's like that I'm Will like, Smith real? movie. Like, I am legend. I'm starting yeah. to do pull ups and shit. My <laughs> yeah, like, I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready. How's that going? <laughs> Stop it. like, it's, it's going all right. It's going all right. Yeah, I stopped the pull ups. Yeah, those were too hard. <laughs> those were too, <laughs> too hard. I started off, I'm like, I'm gonna work out from I home. It's gonna be place. awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to get it where I can. Right. I do virtual pull-ups. <laughs> I do a lot of those, man. Yeah. I watch yeah. other people working out, maybe. Assisted, I don't know. That's pretty cool. You know. Assisted on the couch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. I remember when that first started. Like, So when we first started hearing about it was uh, right around the time we went to the Waste Management Open. Yeah. They're like, oh, there's a few cases in Arizona. We're like, well, sweet. That's where we're going. So, But still not really that worried about it. No. And I, rem I remember the two guys that I went out there with, uh, the flight out, were like, we got to wear our masks. And then well, like, they weren't required. They were weren't required. Were no, not required. Not at that time. But we no. wore them for a picture, and then just, we took just them off. Kind of flaunt, like, like yeah, hey, we have our right. masks on, and then we look around. No mask. one else has I'm a mask on. So we're like, well, I feel stupid, so we took yeah. our masks off. And everything was fine, obviously, at that time. But then all of a sudden, when shit hit the fan, man, it was it's it was crazy. So cool anymore, I remember when they sent right. us home, and I was like, damn, this is pretty crazy, man. Like, so when did they send you home then? Like right, probably around the same time you did. Okay. Like right in was that end of March? Third week of March. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? Like, okay, so mm -hmm. I'm just hanging out with the kids. and Yeah, which is cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. And I remember the beginning of it, it was like, okay, we have all these plans. I'm like, I have a structure oh, of yeah. like what we're going to do. I'm like, I got a full day planned out. I'm like, wake up, breakfast, nine o'clock, you know, exercise. Yep. <laughs> 10 o'clock, two meetings. 10 o'clock. <laughs> Let's do some learning. Right. Okay. Activity. Science experiment. We're going to build a volcano. Run outside and play. <laughs> but you can only build so many volcanoes. The volcano thing ran out quick. It was a big mess. Oh, my. Right. I'm not doing this shit anymore. Right. Well, right. then you got to spend from two to five cleaning. Yeah, I'm right. cleaning up. Right. I'm always nobody cleaning. Got, ain't nobody got time for that. You're always cleaning. <laughs> right. You know, you're always cleaning when you're home oh, with yeah. the kids. Right. It's like, I mean, you're better off just not cleaning until they go to bed. Correct. Right. Because you don't even have to build a volcano and you're going to be cleaning anyways. Exactly. Oh, it's going to be a mess no matter what right. you do. Right. You're right, though. I remember. I remember being so organized like oh, first yeah. of all everyone went out and got like two weeks worth of food i remember i had a picture i bought like the DiGiorno. yeah like nine freaking frozen <laughs> yeah. pizzas i was like dude we are set like for Uber eats ain't coming here <laughs> right they're, they're no. not doing that that's not gonna be a thing everyone's <laughs> going home staying home you Uber know eats? yeah no, and like don't no. Do that. No. <laughs> no sorry man we're not going anywhere no. go fuck yourself yeah but like <laughs> four <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah Yo. Four days in, we're just like out of food. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah. I have to go to the grocery store. We ran out of DiGiorno's. <laughs> yeah. You feel like it's like the day after tomorrow. Like you're like all, yeah. you're all bundled up. You're just like, one oh, I gotta go to the store. <laughs> one desire. It's literally 80 degrees <laughs> out. Cocaine <laughs> DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> burm, burm. <laughs> He's walking into the fucking grocery store. Don't come near me. You don't want to go near anybody. Yeah. You remember that? Like you're no. walking through the store and someone comes towards you. You're like, ah. There's no shopping carts. I went to go hand. Some lady dropped 
like a bag of like uh, chips on the floor or something. She and I was even want like, I went over to pick them up and hand them to her. She goes, no. she like backed away. She goes, ah, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you can have those. I'm like, well, you touched them. So those maybe I shouldn't are, touch those them. Those are yours now. Yeah. <laughs> I just grabbed like <laughs> some lighter fluid and poured all over my hands. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. Ah! I'm smashing liquor bottles on the ground and just <laughs> just like alien with a flamethrower. <laughs> I'll take the chips. Right. <laughs> yeah. These chips are mine now. <laughs> they belong to me. Think about it though. Like we were scared. Like everyone was. Yeah, right? man, it was like, crazy. Dude, it's do you remember weird. like the images that you were seeing off of like the new like mainstream news the was just like people in Italy. In yeah. Yeah. Like they're taking like bodies out of their apartments yeah. in Italy. I'm like, this one guy's like, I've been trying to get my sister out of here. She's been dead for weeks. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm like, what is going on? Wait, is this a drowning pool song? I thought, I thought, I'm sitting at home watching Contagion and watching Outbreak. I'm like, this is what's happening right now. <laughs> dude, I was Wrong. freaking out, man. Like, I didn't want to go. And you're walking so even better. Like, we had a a little contest at work. So you're trying to get your steps in and everything. So we're having a little competition when you're at home and I'm walking down the street and you're, you're walking down the sidewalk and someone's walking towards you. You people oh, ran yeah. away from each other, like, like psh, oh, across yeah. the street. All the parks were closed. All the parks were closed or taped so off. Weird. Yeah. Roped off with caution tape. Yeah. And I, it was crazy. Actually, do you Drawing remember like, theory. so <clears throat> when everyone got locked down and it was like an actual lockdown, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, essential workers could go out or whatever. Like essentially. Yeah, essentially. essentially. I don't Candidly. know that I was ever considered an essential worker, but we took the opportunity when the centers were closed to do a lot of renovations. Which is sweet. Yeah, I mean, it was a great did, time to do it, man. We did probably five years of renovations in two months. Oh, like, oh. oh nice crack. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> um, but Ooh. yeah, so like I remember though Ooh. driving in at like noon. Like my wife would come home. She was working half days for like a couple days a week. Yeah. So she would come home. And I had the, the kids in the morning. Then I would go and I would start working on the floors or whatever we were doing. And it'd be noon on a Tuesday and there's no one on the road. Yeah, that was so weird. weird. It was so yeah. creepy. I still remember that first that first weekend of being locked down and I went for a walk. And I'm going down uh, Menor Ave. Fucking wildcat. I was so crazy, dude. <laughs> I was still wearing a mask. So I'm not courageous. messing around. I was crazy, man. He's I don't want to. He's wearing a body condom. It's kind of a badass, actually. <laughs> I just have a hazmat suit what on. Is that a bondom? <laughs> yeah, bondom. Bondom. <laughs> but I remember, like, zero cars on the street. It was, it was like, 7 o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah. And there was not one car driving down the road. It was so weird. I'm like, we're all died. We're all dead. We're all dying. Right. It's, it's happening. It. There's no deer. There's no deer. <laughs> yeah. And all the of a sudden, there's a, there's a lion gone. mauling yeah. the last deer right. in yeah. the middle of like, like, the YMCA. Nah, <laughs> not crossing that street. No. Nope. You just walk by. There's like dodo birds. and nope. I, I, That's the first extinct species <laughs> hey, that I could think I of. Hey, Fawn, they're, they're coming back. They're coming back. Fawn, we got to socially distance. <laughs> yeah. Plus, there's Corona over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stay away from me. <laughs> Gallops off into the distance. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah, it was just, it was like an apocalyptic movie. It, it really was, was really, man. really weird. And, th and think about how few cases there were then right. <laughs> compared, compared to, to now. now. <laughs> Seriously, we're, though, we're man. Red zone. We're, right. We are in the red, apparently. Right. And, and, and look, I, you know, we, we, we talk and we laugh about it because I think that's all you can do. You, it's all you can it, do. It, People judge you for laughing about it, but it's like, what else are you going to do? Right. You have Lose to your live. mind and just end life just by, and, I mean, you have to just move on. You have to live. Right. I mean, there or has to be die. a point. Yeah, exactly. That's what they should, that should be. That's there we go. Podcast over. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Nailed uh, it. I mean, that's the episode title. should be a poster. Nailed it. It's definitely the episode <laughs> title. Oh, for sure it is. <laughs> you have to live or you die. <laughs> <laughs> New movie. <laughs> Bruce Summer Willis. 2021. <laughs> one, one man. <laughs> one desire. You live or you die. Or you die. <laughs> you live or you die. That is it. Part six. <laughs> you can rent the whole movie theater by yourself. Yeah, you can't do that. Actually. actually, you can. Yeah. We did that. Did we you? Did that. Seriously? Yeah, I did it. So, Dad Hack, mm. you can rent movie theaters for your entire family for a pretty low amount, at least the last time I checked. Now, what's interesting is, is so we did this for a birthday mm. party for one of the kids, and it was like 50 bucks. Totally well worth it. It's wow. like fifty bucks for like ten people. It's like a hundred bucks for even a more disordered people. Ridiculous amount. More than so ten. More than ten. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
And uh, the whole, the, you get the whole theater. You choose the movie that you want to watch. So it could even be like an old school movie. It could be current, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And then um, what's interesting about that, though, is that even with all those incentives, I still saw an article that said something to the effect that one of the major cinemas was looking at closing soon. And I was like, come on. I'm like, even yeah. with that, like, how cool is that? How, yeah. how many times have well, you wanted to go to a movie theater and have it to yourself? To yourself, yeah. Right. Well, even at that, I mean, I would guess that that business model would not sustain. sustain. I mean, cool to do something like that to try and get people more comfortable we'll try to do something. Getting, in, getting back right. into theaters and things like that. Because we actually just talked about this the other day is how much we miss going to the movies. I mean, I mean when you don't do it once every two years right <laughs> exactly It'd be nice to go see a film <laughs> <laughs> i mean but i love taking my cinema. kids to the theater you know what i mean like kids they, they just get it you know the larger than life experience oh, where yeah. they get this giant popcorn and it's just filled with butter and salt the and the screen is huge, huge screen it's huge. so You're, freaking loud I actually huge. i know all the people at regal <laughs> i talked to a lot of movie people they like the me. top movie people top a lot of genius movie people <laughs> <Yes>. billions <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we, we I, I totally miss that, and um, but yeah, I think a lot of them are. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to make it. I, mm. I, hope, I hope they do. Well, the, I know, the, man, it the sucks. problem that I'm seeing is like we were talking about how businesses are going to change moving forward. Right. Is there's just too many options, and and so you almost think there's too many options. Then I, I do. I think I think with all the streaming services, with all of the um, uh, in the movie sector, right, right, right. okay. Um, I, I think that there's. I don't know, but I can't imagine that ticket sales are. I don't know how the industry works, so I, I don't know. Same, that. I'm Ma- maybe you know the big movie, you know Regal or AMC or whatever. They pay X amount of dollars to have the movie first or, whatever, or whatever the license, right? right. Um, maybe that's how it works, and maybe that is a major source of income. But I mean, because I guess for the blockbuster movies, you know, you hear you know about they're these, making money off that popcorn, bro. Oh, of course. Popcorn well, they are yeah. fifty cents. But I'm saying from you know, the you're movie, extra butter that butter is probably like. <laughs> Like two cents. One oh, cent. yeah, they're like, yeah. Mm, that was yeah. five pumps. That was yeah. five extra dollars. Yeah. Like, what, when did butter cost money? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Popcorn in the water, thirty-seven dollars. Right. Oh, well, okay, like, well, that's like cool. a small popcorn wow. is like Sorry, nineteen dollars, and then the extra, extra, extra no large Swedish family size today. is nineteen fifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Free refills. Good luck yeah. finishing that, right. asshole. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not being, fooling anyone. You're like instant diabetes by the time you're done with that. Man, you're like. Well, we have to drink all this pop because we get a free refill. Right, right. All right, everyone shove. <laughs> now I feel pissed. I'm going to miss five minutes of the movie. Now your kids can't even watch the movie. Now you, you can sit still. Now you got to go back to see the movie again because you missed the whole movie. Oh, yeah, you're like, movie. dude, I brought you my movie. You keep going to see the kids, right? Hey, guys, what did I miss? Anything cool happen? Right. No, because you had to take both kids with you to the bathroom. To the bathroom. And you're like, okay. Sit down. They're like, I have to pee. Well, son of a bitch. Now right. let's get back up again. <laughs> we miss half the movie. Let's just keep doing this all <laughs> yeah. day. You guys want to hang out in the bathroom? We so can again, do that. Right. So again, we're making very good cases for in-home or like yeah, in-home movie watching, You're right. where You're right. you can pause, you can rewind. A lot of the streaming can, services are just, just going a, straight to. You can just put a pull up on them and say that's it. <laughs> This is what Wait, we're you doing or your kids? Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're where the kids are wearing pull-ups, you're wearing Depends. It's just a Depends yeah. party. Yeah. It depends. Like, yeah. We're, we're What's watching the, all of The size? Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's moving. Do not Nobody's move. Nobody's moving until we see Sora. <laughs> yeah. It smells so bad in here. Don't move. <laughs> yeah. Just all the, all the windows are closed and drapes are closed and there's no air circulating. The it bathroom's just four so feet bad. away. I don't care. Yeah, there's one bathroom to rule them all. <laughs> don't ruin this for me. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> this is. <laughs> We're at home. We can pause it. I don't care. <laughs> you could literally hit the. That's your wife. You could literally hit the pause button right now. No. No, we will. No. We are not. No, we're committed. We're not it's moving. The cinema experience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope that they they figure out a way to pivot themselves and in order to, you know, whether it's, you know, reconstructing each theater into like pods or having other amenities or being cheaper. I, I don't know what it is. I don't, you know. Um, I think that's the word of the night, though, pivot. It pivot is, is yeah. the word. Uh, I mean, that's the word it's of we're the all year, doing. right? Like, it is, we, but here, here's another question. Mm. So we're getting into the cold weather season. Think of the places like... The Kitty Jungle, or dude, I love that place. The uh, Kids Museum and those mm-hmm. types of places, like those places, are gonna take a big hit. Yeah, are they gonna? I mean, are they open? Will they? Even, the museum? Will they even make it? Play yeah. the cafe, that kind of stuff. Right. You know? yeah, right. Yeah, all that kind of shit. It's like okay, well, I mean, are kids playing in and the in the the Chick Fil A play 
house thingy. I right. doubt it. Is that closed off? That's the stuff you got to do in the winter. There's right? nothing else to do. No, yeah. you got to take your kids to the playground. Yeah, yeah right. You're going to play. You're I'm freezing. I don't give a slide. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the energy out. <laughs> I mean, I guess in the house. Maybe the slide will be faster. I guess. Frozen. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is there that tobogganing go. now? Is that what we're calling it? I'm just ice losing your children. Luge. Yeah. yeah. Luge. What's that Jamaican bobsled team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Cool running? Cool running. Yeah, yeah. Cool running. Yeah. Feel the rhythm. Samson. Feel the ride. Simpson. <laughs> you are my brothers. Right? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like all those those type of, you know, we... I mean, we talked about it before is like we actually got pretty lucky that we got shut down going into spring because even was, though things were closed, you could still like you could get outside. I mean, you I took my things. kids on all these different hikes and, you know, went oh, out yeah. and, or just like around our neighborhood. And I will it, say God bless Ohio for that, man. There's so many just in this this region. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Northeastern Ohio region. You got so much stuff. You got uh, Liberty Hollow. You got uh, Payne Falls. You got yep. so much stuff. Oh, man, there's so many do. things. So like I was going to say, though. The problem with that is, for me, is all the places I used to go. So oh, I would yeah. take the kids to, like, Squire's Castle. Then, we, like, the whole, like, North Chagrin Reservation, and there would be no one there. I'm telling you, I mean, there would be people there, but now it's, like, people figured out that we have all these parks, and they're packed. Uh, no place to park, and it's just yeah, packed really? with people. The secret's it, out. Yeah, the secret's out. And those okay. were my spots, too, man. I took my kids to all those places all the time. That was, like, our thing. Because people aren't going to the movies. Exactly. Right, right. <laughs> they're not going to the movies, can't right. go to these other places. So, like, let's go hit up these uh, these unlimited parks that we have but they're all packed now yeah so i mean really what are we going to do for the winter i mean you're right we used to go once a and week it's not like we get a ton of snow like now to, no like we get snow a couple times a year so like other other than that the, it's just raining or it's just cold and not yeah i mean like the snow at least you could go play for a little bit right, right. but back in my day <laughs> back we, were younger, we used to have all kinds of snowstorms right? we did mm-hmm. those were the days man yeah like you know, one of those great Build storms. Giant like, forts. Yeah, I mean, the, you could do that. Yeah, you absolutely still can do that. And remember, I we used to build the forts, and you take a spray bottle out, like a water water bottle, and spray the uh, the the oh, snow make it down. Hard. It yeah. makes it like ice. Oh, it's amazing. It's like igloo level. Yeah, we used to take the snow, we would <laughs> spray it. <and> we <laughs> make no, blocks. It's amazing, and we build igloos. Yeah. That's what we no, do. you know what we do is like if you have the really wet snow, is you roll it into a giant snowball. Mm-hmm. You put about five of those together. And you dig it, you hollow them out, and you make your fort inside of them. Oh, okay. yeah. See, here we go. Dead hacks. Yeah, yeah see? For a winter. There, here you there go. There you go. We used to take, I remember we, uh, at the end of my street, there was a cul-de-sac, and we used to build this oh, giant where the, where fort. The, 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 the snow plow would put all the... Yeah. 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 So we would take all that snow and build this, like, basically igloo, and we used and, to go play in there. It was and amazing. then you're playing in there, and all of a sudden, the next snow plow comes down, right. and, and then it <laughs> smashes you guys <laughs> in there. Oh, Timmy! The oh. kids are missing. <laughs> where are the kids? You gotta They're probably... You gotta have a lookout. There's a hand coming out of the snow pile. There's just a glove. Yeah. <laughs> no, someone just lost a glove. Don't even look over there. Do the it's not classic, worth it. The, the classic buried scene where the hand just... <laughs> you know you live for that part, though. Oh, anyway. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Whatever. It's, it's so mean, predictable it's and still so satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. Yes. <laughs> we should probably do that this winter, guys. Absolutely, we should. Okay. We should film all kinds of stuff. Let's do it. I just don't want to do a cliffhanger. Mm. Oh, cliffhanger. <laughs> you guys want to do that? You guys, Sylvester Sloan out there, like in a freaking tank top, just like it's literally negative twenty out there, and he's just climbing mountains. And, and you know, he still with, would be. Well, yeah, obviously, absolutely, still is today. Uh, he's, he's up like, there right now, yo, just finding cases of money. Yo, Adrian, <laughs> see that cliff? <laughs> see, they're doing another Rambo. Uh, what? Yeah, they're doing another Rambo. So well, in, makes so sense. In, Every time he holds an M16, he looks fantastic. <laughs> he does look amazing. Let's give the man another. Machine he's not gun. even real. No, no, he's not real. No, he's like one of those claymation guys. Like yeah. he's just, <laughs> just. Yeah. Yeah, sorry <laughs> about the mic there, guys. Oh, it's yeah, okay. Right. It's still standing. They're uh, they're I'm pretty well balanced. Uh, no, a great song. Of cliffhanger though. Sing. Uh, mm-hmm. We was going down the uh, the Netflix or Disney one of Plus or one of them. It's cliffhanger. Trying to there. show my kids like old movies that I remember growing up as a kid loving, and so we got on Ace Ventura two. Oh, like, the beginning with the, with the raccoon? So in the beginning, they're doing like the cliffhanger scene uh-huh. with the raccoon. The fucking raccoon dies, bro. Yeah, that's really? pretty devastating. Yeah. It's the cliffhanger scene. I didn't remember that. Cliffhanger scene where what's his face is uh, up there with his girlfriend or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And her harness breaks. Yeah. But I didn't remember that as a no, kid. I didn't remember that. Like, well, you know what else you didn't remember? It was Back to the Future when oh, I remember Lorraine gets sexually assaulted by yeah, Biff. Of course. I was like eight years old when yeah, I saw no, that Yeah, no, you didn't understand it then. No, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, okay, oh, this guy comes in, bam. <laughs> yeah. And then Biff's gone. I'm like, yeah, what's up now? And then I go back and rewatch it. And I'm like, 
Uh, yeah. No, my kids aren't watching that. <laughs> no. There's so many movies that I, that we watched as kids that I'm like, Dude. eh, maybe shouldn't. Yeah. Then I'm like, maybe I should let them because maybe I'll toughen them up a little bit. So right. I'm putting it on Commando yeah, next whatever, week. Whatever, McFly. <laughs> yeah. I got Commando lined up, uh, Bloodsport. And kickboxer, Lionheart. That's, okay, Lionheart. I got it all lined up, dude. We, just this all is, Van Dams. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that's what I love about Ace Ventura, though. Is is Jim Carrey? It's, it's funny because I was just think about this the other day, like how uncanny Jim Carrey is as an actor. Like the whole um, Ace Ventura one when he's doing the 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 relay, yeah, replay. Yep. Let's see that in a new story. <laughs> <replay. laughs> it's a, that whole like, scene, like, scene is amazing. So like he literally just did that in rewind. Yeah. And then the the whole uh, liar liar when he's uh. got the pen, he's like the pen is. <laughs> Royal, he's Dude, amazing. When he kicks his own ass in the bathroom and liar right. liar. That's amazing. Yeah, Jim Carrey was he, uh, still is still is he's incredible. amazing. I'm sorry, he's a, he, he is. I yeah. love Jim Carrey. Now I don't know, you know what's going on, but you know he, he was saying. in Sonic. He, he was you know in Sonic. Sonic. He's Doctor Robotic. Good. It was all right. It, it, I was I was I watched it one time. Yeah. you know my kid good went through a track. pretty big Sonic phase during the uh, well, quarantine. Did, right? Well, right. Awesome. And uh, so I watched Sonic several. You guys remember the first time you saw Sonic the game? Yes. No. I'll never forget it. Like, I went to a family friend's house, and he had just got the new Sega. Sega. And he had Sega. the first Sonic. And I remember sitting in his room, and that they, there was he, no he, Sega that ever did that. What? There was no Sega that ever did that. What? Yeah. That noise. What are you talking about? Really? They did the cheer like that? The yeah. Sega. When you turn it on. And then, like, on Sonic, on. he ran yeah. back and forth real All fast. I remember is the Sega. Oh, oh, that was, that was like that was the, the, the commercials later? and shit. The commercials. That, maybe it was later. Well, no, no. Some games, of the games did it too. But different like when, games did it. Yeah, but the Sonic but definitely the Sonic did. Games I was always power one up. I want to hear that. I gotta well, I'll pull it up. Oh, I don't have my phone. Can we record just that sound bite? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we should put it right <laughs> here and like, hit the button. But was, no, I still remember okay. walking in. and He turns it on, and I'm like, "This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life." You're like, like, I was, I was like, "This is amazing." It was the best thing ever. So we got one for Christmas. And it was literally like the scene, like you've seen that where that kid gets the Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. That was it, except Mike had it in his hands first. My mom's like, that's for all of you. And my brother runs, takes it and runs in the other room. And we have it on video, actually. And we're all chasing him. We're like, Mike, that's all of ours. And he's like, <laughs> no, it's the whole not. scene, man. He's <laughs> like, no, it's not. I'm the oldest. I'm playing. You guys could watch. And you didn't even know that, you know, GoldenEye 007 was coming out. Oh, my God, dude. GoldenEye was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Have you mm -hmm. tried to play it in the last, like, 10 years? <sighs> I forgot where I was and we played. We were in my house. It was impossible. Listen, we've had this conversation multiple maybe times, maybe six times on the podcast. We have, but everybody's amazing, different, and that's just like a testament to in how, and of itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's awful. It's just, it's tough to figure out the controls. It's really? so bad. So when you're when you're used to like PlayStation with the two joysticks and everything, trying to figure out how to turn and move around yeah, is impossible. It's really tough. Oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, because I mean, I logged some hours on that yeah. game. Oh, we all did. If you man. didn't, you didn't grow right. up in our area. Right. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hundred percent agree. Well, what else were you doing? Was, I mean, I was a Losers. Zelda guy, but you know, <laughs> you were what? The Zelda guy. Yeah, Zelda was always good, man. Uh, the Ocarina of Time That's and all it. that. That's and it. Songs. Maybe the best game ever. Oof. That's a good argument. Top, um, top three. Oh. <sighs> yeah, definitely top three. I would say. I mean, actually, I think the. Isn't even a huge Zelda fan. I think it's top. Three. It is yeah, gotta I be. Mean, I don't think I've really ever. I mean, I was never really into like a Link to Past or any of those games. They they were okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. time was the but is that like from what I would call a like next or next generation game was probably the best. I don't yeah, know. like yeah. from a what about original standpoint, Super Metroid. Okay, so did you, that might be my top game. It was of a phenomenal all time. game. I remember. I love right. Golden Axe for uh, Sega. I don't know if you remember this. I remember Golden Axe. So good. So I got, I had that game on PlayStation 3 or something. It was like all the old school yeah. Sega games. Mm -hmm. And I played Golden Axe for a little while. And then I'm like, can't do this for that long because it's not that great now. No, it's, I mean, the graphics are. <laughs> and it was tough. It was like, okay, well, this is repetitive. And, and you know just, what else I figured out too about the, uh, like the, when you get classic games on new systems is there's just built in cheat codes and the game's just not as fun. Like my kid will play uh, like the original Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. and you can stop it and rewind it and go back to before you died. Oh, okay. Welcome to cheating. Yeah, exactly. Welcome it's to like the a game genie. Welcome to the everything. world now. Please. This is bullshit. I'm like, so this isn't even fun. Put a game genie on everything. Win. I quit. No. Like the castles that you had to figure out which stupid door to go through. You know, back right. and forth. 
That's like, like yeah, and then you run out of yeah, time. You're like, well, I don't have any more continues, so I guess I got to start from the beginning. Right. right. That's if Mist was just to give you clues, like pop up clues, like, hey, open this door, idiot. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Exactly. Well, now oh, it's not Mist anymore. Well, you don't have to worry about it because you can open up one door. If it's the wrong door, you can just rewind. Yeah, it has that. You can this rewind. This is the problem. This is yeah. bullshit with our society. society. Everyone gets a trophy. Everyone gets a trophy, and everyone gets a cheat code. Speaking I got, of speaking get into that, like the way that things are now. I and we talked about this on our last podcast. Never let your kid win, right? Yeah. So, my son and I were at the park the other day. The other day, the other day, and um, Sam is old, is uh, four and Ben's three. Okay. And Sam's much faster than Ben. So Sam beats him in a race, and then when he wins, he starts going, "Oh, I beat you. You lost." He's like throwing it in his face. I'm like, "You're a sore lo- or sore winner." And I'm like, "I don't like that." I'm like. Cut that out. I'm like, how would that feel if someone beat you and you're acting like that? He's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Not all right, good, I got man. an idea. You got a head start. We're racing right now. He goes, okay. And I just, I mean. Blew him away. Burned him. Steve Did you throw it back in his face? I did. Well, I had to. <laughs> I'm trying to teach a kid a lesson. Meanwhile, right. I'm at Ridge Junior High, the playground behind there, and there's people still inside working. <laughs> so they could see me racing my son and then getting oh it, God. like, standing over him like, Whoa, yeah, you lost. What? Oh, my what? God, is that a talking dad? Or what? <laughs> this guy's an asshole. I'm just sitting there, and he's, he's on the ground laying flat on his back, bawling his eyes out. I'm like, hey, buddy, this is a life lesson. I'm like, you got to learn how to lose. You're going to lose. You're and, right, though. I mean, because I mean, he needs, because like, yeah. first of all, you, you, when you lose, you can't handle it like that. You're going to lose. I'm like, buddy, you're going to lose sometimes, and that's part of life. I'm like, you want to hear something? I was never able to be, like, he calls my dad Papa. I'm like, I was never able to beat Papa in a race. Ever okay you, until you, I got yeah, older, no. and, and then probably smart, there's no way I would beat your dad in a race. My dad was he still probably beat amazing. me. Amazing, oh, really? he's in great yeah. shape. So I'm like, let's so set it up. Let's <laughs> do it. Like, <laughs> Downtown Willoughby, here it comes. You know how many <laughs> so many pulled hamstrings on my end, most oh, likely. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> but I mean, um, is this like a David Goggins? Like, who's your dad? Is, <laughs> Dude, I love he's David Van, Goggins. He's, uh, by the way, yeah. Jean Claude Van Damme is my dad. He's the man. So okay. Yeah, sure. um, <laughs> uh, All right. I don't have the same accent, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's it, dude. In Bloodsport, mime territory. <laughs> Bloodsport. When he gets blood when he, sport? I do remember the guy blood, throws the, the powder the in his powder eyes in his and eyes he goes blind and for a little bit. Got and it. In the slow motion screaming. <laughs> So that's ah, like, ah. <laughs> now is that your dad in the morning? Yeah, every mor- every single morning. <laughs> So, yeah, so this is coffee. I'm trying to explain to him like I couldn't beat him. I couldn't beat my my older brothers ever. I'm like, you know what? And then one day I did, and it was awesome. Okay. But then I'm like, no one ever threw it at my face that I lost. Right. I'm like, you just got to handle it the did. right way. I'm sure. Oh God, can you imagine? My brothers probably just did the same thing, and then probably beat the shit out of me afterwards. Though, right. It was like, life. You, you have to learn what that feels like in order to understand or or at least appreciate the the victory yeah. right i think that's the takeaway is you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable yes and yes and you got to teach them that that's too. the only place that growth really i think happens that's a you david know? goggins thing too it might be yeah you know yeah, and boom. i love that man for that reason. and Dude. if you don't live then you die uh, that's, you know what? You know, you're 100% so, right. Hey, listen, viewers <laughs> of the Talking Dead, if you don't live, you're going to die. Okay. So, so gonna here end. you go. You heard it here, folks. Okay, First, breaking live. news here. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't living, you're dying. Right. Oh, man. Boom. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little life lesson. I, I probably was, be, I mean, I'm probably on YouTube right now. Somebody in that school was taking right. a video of me doing that. Look but it's dad. Yeah. I'm like, come on, little. All right, you ready? You're going to lose. Dude, I, I mean, but you know I what? Totally endorse but that. he needs to learn how to lose because right. it's, it can't be a shock when you do. Right. When you're not going to sit there and handle it like that, I'm like, buddy. And then you know what? When you win, that's great. I'm like, but if you lose, be like, hey, you go to the person who beat you and say, good job. Get you next time. You know what? That's and just... and it doesn't take that long for kids to start to get that concept either. No, like I, I, just and talking about that, I was you, thinking if you if, plant that, seed, correct, yes, correct, you can't right. let them win at everything. I know. Like, we uh, we went through a board game phase, yeah. uh, which midway through COVID, quarantine because you do because it was yeah, like it I'm feeling really one. bad. These confusion stage two <laughs> board games. Well, no, stage, stage three, two volcanoes. <laughs> stage you know, two is for us. the best do snacks. You can. Yeah. Stage, the stage two for us was just like screen time. I'm like, I'm done with this. Like, I have right. to get work done. Like, Give go your ahead. Kids iPad. Right. Yep. And then I felt bad about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get some board games. And we had actually I had Amazon deliver some board games. That's and so right. yeah, we were playing uh, Trouble. 
Yeah, so trouble. So you had uh, not only did you have toilet paper coming in every month, you had a new board game. Oh, yeah. coming in every yeah, month. Yeah, Ian's got it all figured out, man. He's, he's subscribed. <laughs> no yeah. big deal. I'm like, I can't. I'm trying to buy Guess Who for seventy five dollars because it wasn't available during the quarantine. Like it was right. impossible. It to thanks to yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah. And the this guy had all of them. them. He has like seventeen yeah. of them at his right. house. Just I got in a case. few of them. Yeah. I got some backups. Uh, oh, did you guys want one? I got some more. I had a bunch just sitting in the closet. Why don't you come over to my house? I got sixteen of them. Yeah. What do you? But like trouble him and like so he was four at the time probably right. and we were playing and I would just beat him every single time and I wouldn't let him win and I'm like trying to teach him strategy but he would he started off throwing a fit he's just focused on the and then winning. like maybe 15 20 games into it he legitimately beat me and like I'm I'm sad to say and I remember I took a picture and he was sad. he was so happy with himself he was using good strategy he was you know taking guys out when he would you know before it was just like just try and get one guy all the way around right. and then I would smoke him, you know, and then he figured it out and he started doing better. And I was like, dude, so he's so it proud out. of you. Yeah. And yeah. So I mean, he was super happy about it. Hell yeah, man. And then it's he a, won't play with me anymore. I'm like, he's like, no, I'll move on to the next no, one. No, I beat you already. So I'm good. <laughs> no, it's like, next I'm game. the champ. We're playing, uh, what were we playing? Guess who? Oh. And so it was Sam oh, so and I, for, one. I did for like $75. Oof. It wasn't that much, but it was expensive. Yeah, you really did. So, um, it was Sam and I on a team and then Ben and Liz on the other team. And Liz and Ben go up about stacking the deck. I know, right? (laughs) Bitches. So Liz and Ben go up four. (laughs) (laughs) Liz and Ben go up three to one. Okay. Oh, and it's serious. He plays the five. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam goes, all right, I'm on mom's team. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh yeah. I'm like, all right, you want to do that? I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm like, I'm going to fucking win. Well, I ended up losing five, four. So Sam ended up winning anyway. Uh, Okay. But I was like, this lesson didn't work out. But no, I mean. I'm like you little bastard. I'm like, you, I'm like Sam. You can't switch teams, right. Because they're winning, right? He's like, why? Athletes do though. He goes, why? Right. That's true. <laughs> I guess. Hey, that's society, <laughs> but right? That's not during mid game though. <laughs> well, mid season. Hey, hey, you know what? They could, even though, even then, like, you know what? Man to be traded. I re- I still remember when LeBron was in Miami and they were losing to. Who are they playing? Uh, San Antonio. Oh, in the and San Antonio was winning, and they're like, okay. Then LeBron got that the the um, cramps or whatever yeah. in that one game because there was no air conditioning in the building. I go, right. I go, and at that moment we were at Perry's house. I go, guess who's coming, guess who's back. coming back? Who's coming <laughs> guess who's coming back? I'm like LeBron's already playing on. He's leaving. Yeah. Like he's leaving Miami, and sure enough, yep. they back. lost to San, uh, San Antonio. Yep. Sure enough, that next summer. So I'm like, some of these guys probably halfway through Holy the season will be like, you know what? Fucker. Don't. Oh my god. Fuck that. Oh, oh God! I'll still I'll never forget that. It's the only thing I can think of when I hear about the Spurs. It was 2007, right or eight? We were at uh, Panini's. Like yeah, we were, you yeah, spent a lot of yeah. little time in the restroom because. Yeah. Oh God, I forgot about that. Which was probably the best place to be. Well, actually, there's a TV in there, but Cleveland was just getting their asses kicked. Yeah. It was the worst series of all time. We got we got swept. That okay? I don't want to yeah. talk about it. It's depressing. No Anyhow. more sports. So, anywho. What else you got, man? What else is going on with you? Yeah, no, I think so, you know, back to back to kind of the growth, uh, you know, comment about uh, being uh, uncomfortable, getting comfortable being uncomfortable, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Which kind of goes back to the whole thing that you guys were just describing that those situations. Um, One of those situations that just happened to me personally was um, I was just recently diagnosed with low testosterone. Now this this didn't happen overnight. It wasn't. I mean, kind of did, right? It only took like five minutes. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be uh, but you know, it, it, what led up to that was just me feeling a certain type of way. You know, I had these symptoms, and if you Google, you'll find it. Uh, but d- I wouldn't recommend that because then you become a hypochondriac. Exactly. But, you no, know, the there's problem th- with Google. There's some telltale symptoms, and you know, I was feeling a type of way, and I was like, something's going on, and. Um, that not only led me to Google for symptoms, but it also led me to Google for like a little bit of validation. And then that led me to, um, Facebook, which, you know, whatever. It's not like I, I just joined in 2020. Got that one photo of Guess what kids got the Facebook. Got the Facebook. So I got on my space. <laughs> so <laughs> just joined. Tom is my Tom, friend. He's, yeah. I got a Tom guy. Yes. This guy named Tom is my best friend. I got a, uh, yeah, whatever. So <laughs> he's in my top 10. Let's just be honest. I mean, MySpace was awesome. It I, was amazing. I love being able to customize great. your freaking oh, homepage God. song and all so that. So good. Um, so anyway, so I'm talking to this guy and uh, he's same age, 36, you know, um, he sent me some before and after photos and, and we get into this conversation about how I feel and 
this and that. And he said, you know, Jim, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I felt this type of way for a long time. And um, this is what I did. And here's before and here's after. And I took one look and I was like, wow. Uh, You know, I mean, just being honest, it was uh, it was a night and day transformation in, in, in the guy. But then I was like, okay, well, how do you feel? You know, because, okay, your physical is great. Right, right, right. That's that's awesome. But how do you feel? And he was like, dude, the, the only, you know, I, I feel great. And I said, okay, well, do you have any regrets? You know, you, you've, you've diagnosed yourself with or, or you've been diagnosed with low testosterone. You've now gotten treatment for it. Um, do you have any regrets? And he said, no, the only, the only regret that I have is not doing it sooner. Oh, okay. And, yeah. uh, that kind of get home. Cause I'm like, great. Now, now I got to do it. Right. Yeah. Now yeah. I gotta do it. So thanks a lot. I, I have an ignorant question because yeah. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I hear some advertisements on the radio sometimes. All you, oh, Nugenics with, uh, yeah. the, with, oh, with Frank Thomas, the yeah. big hurt, right? <laughs> yeah. I hear that commercial All every I day. All I did was pop some pills and now I can bench <laughs> yeah. like 800 pounds. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like, I, like what is, I would assume at least that like w- with any kind of diagnosis, there's several different options that you can do, right? Like I would assume that there's probably some Reiki master out there that that has an option. There's probably some uh, essential oil that will work. And then there's also like medicinal and then there's, I I, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm so glad that you asked that. So um, number one, um, the the main thing I want to, the main point that I want to drive home here is that um, I don't condone any treatment option. Um, what I do condone is, is if you feel a type of way, go get it figured out. You know, I'm 36. I didn't have a primary care physician up until recently. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, so that's probably dumb. You know, I mean, hey you, man, you got you're a guy though. Life. That's just how, I mean, that's I how we roll, but that's dumb. That's it, it is I, stupid. I, to be I'll, fair, I had one and then the dude retired and then I just never. Didn't well, re-up. so the reason why yeah. I had, I got one in the last two years is because I was sick. I had something going on and I was like, and the, Doctor goes, who's your primary physician? I'm like, I don't know. I'm you? like, can you be? Fine. He goes, sure. He's like, just oh, just anytime anybody asks. He's like, that's it. He's like, sponsors? Maybe, maybe you. you. Yeah, I was, I was like the dude in, um, I forgot what movie it was, but I was still going to like um, a pediatrician when I was like 20 something. Oh, yeah. I was like sitting, was, I forgot. Oh, no, that was the Friends. It was a Friends episode. No, there was, there was a movie oh, was too. A movie the guy too? from uh, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Oh. Steve, can you walk oh, like yeah, a, yeah. Right. Can like, you take off your pants and walk like a duck on the floor yeah. for me? He's like, sit up, go sit on the fire truck, buddy. Didn't that end at like seven? <laughs> I'm like, why am I still on a fire truck? Should I be going this? to a different doctor? Right. They're, like, they're like, Steve, you need to see somebody else. Right. You got to stop coming to me. But there's the cool games in the waiting room, and I just, I have so much fun, and I feel comfortable with and you. I miss the duck walk. And she's like, and I feel uncomfortable with you being here. Right. So you're find large. someone else. You're in your 20s. Yeah. Grow up. Oh, I'm like, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Son. <laughs> right. The toys, I like the Toys R Us. R.I.P. Toys R Us. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right. Uh, Jeff. Which is, which is, okay, sorry. So, yeah, no, no, no. That was a good sidetrack. So, so here we are, you know, and, uh, and basically his only regret is not getting done sooner. So I don't condone any type of treatment, right? Um, because that's not my job. I'm not here to tell people what right. to do. That's between you and your. You wife don't endorse any specific like work no, with your no, doctor. No, no. Right. Work with your wife, number one. Oh, good mm-hmm. call. And your doctor, no. because listen, she's a part of this decision. It affect it, it. It affects her, and uh, and your your children and your home just as much as it does um, anything else. And and talk to your friends too. Um, you know, I'm a pretty pretty open guy. Most of the most of the people that know me um, know a lot about me. My best friends know everything about me. I'm a pretty open book. I'm pretty easy read. Um, but when it comes to this, um, you know, and this, this was no different, but when it comes to this, it's way more below the belt, obviously. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, boom. Oh, you know? God. Uh, so, uh, you got one for that? There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Let me turn it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. So um, no pun intended, but, you know, it's it's just one of those things that, that hits so hard. So um, what I do condone is if you feel a certain type of way, go get checked out and it took me no time at all. I mean, I'm literally, you know, went into the office, um, local doctor, super cool guy. Uh, I'm not dropping any names or anything. Yep. So they take the blood, you know, you do your thing, you hear back a week later and Jim, you're at 219. And, um, you know, an average, yeah, you know, you'll hear one thing I want to be clear about. You'll hear that a normal range is anywhere from 250 to, you know, 800 for a 36 year old guy. Hmm. Okay. Don't listen to that. What's important actually is, is average. 
average is a whole different category. Average for our age, 36, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you guys might be, um, is 750-ish. Okay. So to hear that you're 219, it was like, mm, okay. Um, so I got some homework to do. So then I'm starting to do research, right? And I'm doing this and that and the other thing. And, and you know, I included my wife in the decision and in and, and this whole process. And one of the requests that she had was, you know, can is there anything that you can do naturally? Right. And I'm... You know, I'm a big proponent of a quick fix. I just want to get over and done with. <laughs> right, now, absolutely. Now that I know I have this problem, which problem I kind of thought yeah. I had, maybe, um, you know, I knew I had symptoms. Now I have an identification for the problem. Let's freaking fix it. Because that's what guys do, right? Yeah. Give me the hammer. Well, and I'll to be fair, I don't know that a lot of guys would recognize symptoms. Like, I'm so glad you brought that up. So my doctor said that, you know, um, during our one of our conversations was, um, you know, what would you do in this situation? He said, Jim, honestly, I think there's millions of men walking around out there with low testosterone that don't, don't even, even know it. I believe don't even sure. know. It. Um, and he said, so if, if it doesn't affect you, so be it. But right. if it's affecting you, you need to do something about it. And so um, it's interesting because there, there's some side effects uh, to this that aren't that cool um, to, to, to having it. So um, now one, one thing I do want to speak on is that, so I went back. The way this process works is that you don't just do a one and done. Mm -hmm. First of all, it has to be done as early in the morning as possible because they that's when they've determined your your testosterone levels are the highest. Makes I'm, sense. I'm no biochemist, but that's that makes sense. Say. So you go in once, right? You get that draw. So I was 219. They want you to go back within two weeks, roughly, and then same thing. Early in the morning, let's get this done. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you're at. That second test came back at 530. Now I'm jumping for joy at first, you know, I'm like, Oh, all right. Was a day. Day. Man. Not that bad. Right. Hand to the I gym. I ain't that bad. Let's go to the gym. Let's do some squats. <laughs> you know, um, my doctor though, didn't emotionally change whatsoever. No inflection change, no tone. I'm like, okay, so something's wrong. So <laughs> then he was like, yeah, I mean, you're five thirty. Um, there's two things. Number one, can't really explain that huge shift. So you need to get that figured out. <laughs> number, you know, going from 219 to 530. Uh, number two is, um, you know, uh, you're still below average. So right. I would love to treat you, but I can't. Because the way that this test works for insurance purposes, and hopefully there's no insurance companies listening that's going to tear us down, right? Uh, suddenly, I Ian think we're, we're good. <laughs> They're not listening. <laughs> and Jim McHugh disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, show's over. I don't know. Show they were just playing in a big over. igloo in a cul de sac <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I saw a glove. I saw a mitt. Come through the, come through the snow and the ice. Yo, <laughs> just piled some more snow on them. <laughs> um, you know, it's the way that these work is that the first test and the second test have to be pretty darn within close a, together. Yeah. They have to be within like, you know, I, I don't know the point range, but right. pretty close. Because mine were such a spread, <laughs> um, he was like, you, dude, there's nothing that I can really do for you at this point, which is really sad because you are still low and you, you're absolutely your first low reading was low. And now you have this huge shift kind of hands up in the air. So now I'm being sent to a urologist okay. and I don't even know what that means. Um, you know, I've Googled it, obviously male parts mm -hmm. and such. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get that, you know, looked at, figured out. But the main point that I wanted to drive home was the getting comfortable, being uncomfortable. You know, this for me is one of the most uncomfortable things that I've probably ever dealt with in my whole life. But I figure if I can go through it, um, then any guy, any dad can go through it. And this is the prime time, right? So as a, you know, when you're Dude, when you're 19, when you're 20, when you're 25, you're invincible. You don't think about testosterone. No, you're like, I got you're this like, forever. <laughs> yeah. This stuff just yeah. through my veins. You know, I'm good. Right. I can break through a brick wall. Doing three workouts a day. 200 squats. Muscle milk. Up to right. three. Right. Wake up at six. I drink think a I muscle give a milk shit. before I go to sleep. I snort it. <laughs> oh, creatine. Yeah, one. creatine. <laughs> I got all Pop that. Pop some pills. I'm good. Right. They made testosterone boosters after me. You know? so <laughs> that's what you are, you know? And, right, then, and right. then suddenly there's this weird shift that happens and you're a dad and then there's kids and then there's all this stuff, stress and work. And, um, you know, I will say that what I have come to learn is that a large amount of your testosterone levels are based off of your own actions. Um, 
based off of your life choices. Right? Makes That's sense. a lot of it. There's mm-hmm. obviously genetics. Genetics, right. There's right. your thyroid, your pituitary gland. There's a lot of different things that factor into all this. I'm not going to try to pretend to understand any of it or like act like I do. Just know that there's a lot of stuff that goes into it all. But largely, it seems like uh, a, a, there's a bunch of factors. And, and a lot of them are your own stuff. So um, you asked me a great question earlier, which was, you know, what do you, what do you do? You know, mm-hmm. you've got you've got paths, you've got options. One of the options that I took was the natural approach, and what I found was this company called Umzu, and uh, the founder is uh, Christopher Wood, I believe is his name. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close. But I can I can give you guys links or whatever um, after the fact. But um, the guy had a pituitary cancer that was dropping his testosterone levels down to a level of 11, which, I mean, at that point, you might as well just be dead. Um, you know, so to give you comparison, 219 is like 80 year old male. Okay. So 11, I don't even know what that would be. Right. But, um, he went from that and allegedly, you know, I, I try to take the man in his word, but I don't know him personally. Uh, took it up to 1100 through supplementation and what he's a true believer in is micronutrients and that the basically the general population is deficient in certain micronutrients and so he founded his company based off of the success that he had personally yep um in taking in uh one of his big things is you know no one's going to care about your health as much as you do true so he took full account for his own health where he was at the cancer the whole nine yards and basically said here's this company, I'm going to found it. And, um, what we're going to do is supply people with the supplements and the, and the nutrients, micronutrients that they need to do the things that they need to do naturally so that they don't have to go or feel like they need to go to a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical route. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do this for at least three months, I figure. And then I'm going to go back and get tested, keep you guys updated. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Please do see where, see where we're at. But that's, that's the big thing. Um, also along with that, going to the urologist, trying to figure out where that big shift is coming from. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, if I can even get one guy to, to hear this and to say, you know what, maybe, maybe this is me or maybe I should get tested and, and figure that out. Whatever happens after that, man, that's awesome because that's what it's all about. Absolutely. This episode is actually like perfect timing right so i've been getting a lot of ads on my uh socials about november you know it's a uh, testicular cancer and like um like all this like men's health type of issues uh like for he, november he, what do you have wrong with you well it's like you know grow a mustache and and you're like i already have one yeah yeah <laughs> i don't need to no shave right. november i've been, I've been shaving okay. for years got two of those <laughs> so but 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 i guess like it's kind of been on my mind because i do i see these ads and it's like you know create a team a fundraising team and this percentage of money goes towards research for whatever and hey all great things um but I don't know anything about that stuff. I've never um, even really thought about it, right? And and so now, like, I knew this was coming up and, and kind of looking at it, I'm like, oh. Well. Like, I guess my first question would be is, I, I wonder from, like, an insurance purpose or whatever is, like, does it hurt to just go get tested? Not, Not at all, all, man. Not at right? all. I, I, I think like, I want to. Here, that's the point that I want to Because I don't try. know. That's, I don't think it's. Maybe I could be feeling so much fucking better. Like, cause you but, learn to but, live but, with things, but you, right? But you learn to live with things, and you and you almost want to hide from things too. Yeah. Like, that's not me. It's not gonna happen. Well, and here the out flat, the the outside influence, right? Every yeah. they start to listen. People start to listen to you, and they want you to feel okay. And that's what I've noticed. Everyone wants you to feel okay, right? Mm-hmm. Ian, it's all right, man. Yeah. Like this is what happens. <laughs> you're getting older. Like that's what happens when we right. get older. Yeah, right. you're like, oh, it's so like, just accept it. F you, dude. Like, what? I'm 36. Why do we have? I don't want to. Feel, I don't want to accept right. that. It's 2020. <laughs> we we have stuff for that probably. And and by the way, does that does that really have to be the the my life now because someone else deemed at 36 that's the way you're supposed that's to just, feel? That's going to well, happen. To your yeah. point though, like if let's just say like you're a little bit low or you're a lot low, whatever. If I can eat some freaking microgreens or, or just like whatever if i could literally just eat better and that's going to significantly improve my wouldn't life which that? we already if know I, we, we already know we, right we, now we, if i said ian if you eat these four things wouldn't you do that yeah for sure like, because oh, this could improve my life i could have more energy i Although could I say you know that, i could be in a better mood i say that but i still the reality is, is that we know like not to crush Ish. a large the pizza. difference is is your the, the data 
That's yeah. what changes right. the game. If you actually For sure. have data I got on diagnosed yourself. with fatty liver disease two and a half years ago ish. I was peeing out Coca Cola colored urine. I was sick for three days. Now, I will tell you that I was on a heavy dose of NyQuil because I was trying to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, so here I am. I come into the doctor's office and I'm like, you know, and I'm, right. my head is on the wall. I'm like, I'm that tired. Right. I'm 36 years old. Wait, my you head said how many? Blue. Like two and a half years ago? So you yeah. had like a four year old and a. Two year old right. or whatever. My head yeah, is I get literally it. <laughs> leaning on the wall. Right. You know, and, and I'm that tired. And uh the dude asked me if I had a will. That was one of the first questions he asked me. Jesus after, right? Christ. He had me pee Thanks, to a doc. Clock. He leaves. I'm laying on the wall, waiting for him to come back. He comes back in, he's like, So, um, do you have a will? And I'm Holy like, shit. Really? That's how we're gonna start this off? <laughs> Thanks. That's Way to cool. sugarcoat it. Right. Thanks, ass. So, <laughs> wow. You know, so anyway, so, I mean, you know, we get into it. They bring me down. They do an ultrasound on me, and they found a mass on the liver. Thankfully, uh, thank God, you know, it wasn't anything, you know, cancerous or whatever. It's just fatty liver disease, which, I'm um, go ahead, say that out loud. Fatty liver disease? It just sounds gross. Yeah. It just does, it? yeah. Fatty sounds, liver disease. Just yeah. It doesn't gross. sound good it at all. It doesn't resonate on the mouth, no. you know. Yeah. just doesn't roll off the tongue. So, you know, I'm like, well, all right, what do we do to fix that? And he's like, diet and exercise. I'm like, that's it. And he's like, yeah, dude, that's diet and exercise. So, okay, that's what we do. Listen, prior to that point, I wasn't going to change anything. I knew what to right. do. Bro, I've been working, yeah, we out, all for, know it. I've been right, working right. out for 13 years. I knew what to do. Yeah, right. you know diet and exercise is going to solve a lot of data, problems. Right? Yes, but you got but all you had of to, your problems. But somebody probably. tells you, a doctor sits there and says, hey, this is what when you need you to do. Data, do you have a will? To the, oh, to shit. The, when, when the data DJ Yakabuchi's you in the face, you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, here we go. I hope you're I listening. love DJ. So, yeah. The best. Um, so Lynch syndrome. So my mom had it. So I have to find out, like, I have to get a genetics test to find out. So like I said, if your parents have it or if you have it, your kids have a 50% chance of having it. So I'm like, my mom's like, you need to get a genetics test. Go find out if you have this. Yeah, so I'm more susceptible chance. to a bunch of cancer, like different cancers. Right. And like I said, a lot of people have this and don't realize they do. So I went and got a genetics test because I'm like, my mom said to do it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go find it. out if I have it or not. Right. So luckily I do not. That's awesome. So my kids have no chance of having it, because which is phenomenal. No chance, so they exactly. No so if I did, I would have to get checked every year for colon cancer, all the different cancers. But the bright side of that, if you did have it and you have to get tested all the time, At you know, you're going to know, you're, you're going to know, you're going to so right. you're, you're have to get, you're, it makes you go to the doctor to get right. tested every year. So it's kind of a good thing because we don't get these things text, text, uh, checked out. We don't get our hearts checked out. We don't, we nope. don't get our cholesterol checked out. We don't nope. do any of this shit. You don't, I don't. And I tell myself all the time, you know what I should do? Is I should go make sure my heart's okay. You literally should. I should go make sure that everything is okay with me. Why do we not do it? I mean, think about this. It's so simple. And like, I'm not a car guy at all. I don't give a shit. I don't know anything about it. I can, I can, I have a truck. Yeah. Like I can change a tire and I can change oil. I don't, I pay Uh, somebody to do it. I can't even do that. Um, (laughs) I've done brakes a few times. I can't change my oil. (laughs) Yeah. But the reality is, is like. We do preventive maintenance we do. on our vehicles. Right. Why we, don't do we do preventive maintenance on our, our homes. Freaking body. Why don't we do it on our bodies? I don't know. We're idiots, guys. Like, we, we are. Idiots. It's so simple. It is and so we're all guilty simple. of it. We are. We're all guilty that's, of it. It's such really a simple thing. Like you said with getting your testosterone checked. Like, is go, it fear? Just, it is fear. Like, I don't want to know? Because, uh, because you know, because you okay, heart disease is the number one killer yeah. of everything. It's worse than COVID-19. Right. Way worse. But and it, by the way. CHD <laughs> is the worst thing in the world. Right, it's the yeah. biggest killer in the world. Yep. My, I have, obviously my son had right. CHD. Like, this is like the biggest problem in the world, but we don't get these things checked out. We know somebody who had um, a random thing where they were playing basketball and they could, were short on breath and they went to the doctor and he was like, okay, well, there's something wrong. And they checked him out and they're like, oh, you know, he's like, no, I want you to run all the tests. Found out that he had the, what's called the widow maker. Yep. And you don't know. Yeah. And you don't know that. That well, could happen to any of us I'm at so any glad, time. I'm so glad you brought that up. So this one, of the, I follow a lot of influences on Facebook um, and, and not because I'm a sheep, but because he's I, going down. He's going down. He's going down. <laughs> it's going Yellow down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole new podcast now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, so I mean, follow a bunch of uh, influences on social media because um, the way I look at it is, is that um, there's people out there that are 
better than you in a better place than you and what better way to um kind of achieve that level of success than to follow some of the practices that they that they do sure absolutely so, you know i'm just that's well, what names. we do with everything right, right? like yeah. but see a lot of people could find negatives with that be like oh well then oh uh, it's depressed that makes me depressed because sure. they're they have all this but it's sure. like yeah but they, you know what it should do is make you want to shift your do these things shift it exactly. and be like okay let's pivot right all right, all right. Pivot. 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 so let's pivot the and there you go and let's try to strive for these goals. Let's try to make these things happen and try to make myself better. Exactly. And that's Instead what we should do with it. Instead of being like, have. oh, this sucks. I'm just going to give well, up. Because this guy again, has like, a Ferrari. <laughs> no. Well, going back to like real I will quick, have one. Because I want to hear your, your list of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, going back to like how our perspective changes is it's not just like, oh, I've got kids now. They depend on me right now. Yeah. No. I, at least for me, it was, I used to think like, maybe a year to three years ahead. Okay. And now I'm like, I want to walk my daughter down the aisle one day. I want to like, yes. it's not just now it's my kids, the future hanging out with his kids. Right. You know what I mean? I want to like, embarrass my kids when they're in right, high school. I want to be right. here for all those fun things. I want to watch, like you said, I want to be like my grandmother who's 98 years old. Dude, your grandma Sue's the shit. My grandma's 98. And I, you know, like she's just, she's sharper than a lot of people our age. Yeah. She's amazing. I want to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, you're like, right. I always like, said, like, like when you're, again, back when you're in your early 20s or right. whatever, like, fuck that. I want to die young. I don't want to wither away. And it's yeah. like, okay, well, wait. First of all, maybe you don't have to wither away. Right. Second of all, like, shouldn't you do everything in your power to, to at least slow that down or prevent it? Because, yeah. like, when you're 20... You think that you're in the prime of your life, and I'm here to tell you, it's not. It's not. And no. You know what? This. You know, I. Be, I keep. This is. This is my own fault. I keep saying men, right? Mm -hmm. Dads, mm -hmm. men. This is for women too. Um, Absolutely. Right. I'm sorry, but like, listen. If if you're a woman, if you're a wife, if you're a whatever, um, because you have to you have to include a lot of different stuff nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you got a plethora. All so inclusive. If yeah. you're whatever, if you're a human being, dude, get checked out. Get figure out. Get get regular. But um, yeah, to your point, I mean, I, when I hit 30, my wife can attest to this. Um, I was like, what? I had a mental breakdown. I didn't think I was going to live past 30 because I had always figured I would sign up to the military. I would go off and then that would be it. I would just die this, this you know, super awesome like Trojan death or whatever. Jump on a grenade, you know, right. and then you're gone. And then uh, I went and got ASVAB tested and the recruiter told me I could have everything, any job that I wanted, right? You know, because they do. And then mm -hmm. uh, he was like, do you have any reason as to why these two should not be wed? And I <laughs> said, uh, I have asthma. And he said, okay, you're disqualified. Yeah. So, you know, at, at 23, 24, I grew out of asthma. Um, it was like Forrest Gump situation. Just started running. Started running. running. Progressive <laughs> treadmill, baby. I was on the, was, I'll never forget it. You know, I had a... I the had <laughs> the braces flew, yeah. flew off, the, or braces the inhaler flew, flew, off, flew off. The legs, the inhaler flew off, the <laughs> chains were lifted. I was running, and I ran for like five miles straight. I just started running. Yeah, I just I was just running. running, and uh, that was it. But, you know, by 30, I hit it, and I'm like, what do I do now? And yeah. um, there was this level of confusion and anxiety that I'd never had in my life before. And then I'm like, well, you just got to move on, right? Because that's what you do. So then I, I hit 35, and now I've got the chitlins and everything running around, and I'm like, kind of hit another like midway mm -hmm. crisis situation where I was like, bro, you got kids under your belt. You got the wife, you got the house, you got to figure some stuff out. You got to take care of yourself. Right. Um, and that's when I realized that to your point, Ian, that you really have to start examining. And I think you brought it up as well. Uh, well, I just called you Ian. It's okay. It's all good. Ooh, it's all good, man. Ian. You're good. Um, that you really have to examine your strategy for, for going forward, mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever that might be, that you, you've got to be here longer than just the 30-year-old situation. So, yeah, I, I, when I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if it's confusion. I don't know if it's, yo, you're a guy, you know, so you're good. You yeah, know? I'm good. Uh, right. I didn't right. survive anything. Yeah, I'm solid. Yeah, I'm out. good, man. I'm good. I don't, I don't cry. You see the Chris <laughs> Farley cry. skit, right? He's like, yeah. he got my second heart attack, Bap. Yep. You, know, you know, dude. That's not that's not the way it is though. Right. It's not the way it is. So to your point, um, one of the list of the, so list of got Sean yeah. Whalen, uh, Jim Stegg, Tyson James Lee, Galen London, um, John Paramore, a uh, bunch of different guys, David Goggins that I follow out there for motivation, for leveling up, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you know, one of the Jim Stegg, fifty year old guy, um, incredible health, incredible shape. 
was out in Arizona, was climbing mountains left and right. And suddenly I see on his um, Facebook page that guys, I'm, he's got like this selfie or whatever, you know, and he's in the hospital and he's, um, he's had the widow maker. And I'm like, here's this dude that does like Wim Hof method, cold ice water baths is flipping tires around. Like it's his job is climbing mountains, like an insane person. And mm -hmm. now has just suffered the widow maker at 50 years old. Come to find out, um, after the fact that the only reason he even survived this was because of his extreme physical condition. Right. If yeah. he had been in less shape, if he had not right. done all this crazy crap that he had done, he wouldn't even be here anymore. So what he's Damn. done is now he's he's taken that as an opportunity, which is super awesome. But right. Flipped it around is now it's called the awakening, and he's flying guys out from all over the world to Arizona to teach them kind of what he's learned throughout this whole process and how to make a better, healthier life. So this is the kind of stuff, man. I mean, this is, you know, to your point earlier, Ian, you know, what gets your gears going? I mean, this is the kind of stuff that gets my gears going. It's like, where can I fit these like little puzzle pieces of, of nuggets in there, you know? Well, and that's For great sure. because at the end of the day, like, you know, we talked about being in your 20s and like 35 now, what do I do? And well, like, I feel at least like this your mid 30s, this is where, this is our chance to make an impact on the world, right? right? Like, and, and world is defined as whatever you want it your to be. Scope, if right. it's your immediate family, if it's your group of friends, if it's your county, your, you know, whatever it is, whatever that you do. Um, but like, why shouldn't it be self-improvement and self-preservation really? Absolutely. I mean, if we really want to be honest with it, it's, it's preservation. Like how do we continue to do things like, like whether it's work or it's a hobby or it's your family, you know, whatever it is, like we do things that, that bring us pleasure, right? Mm -hmm. Like we, we, we tend to hate doing things that suck, but you do them, you get through it. Right? right. But you do those things so that you can spend some amount of time, whether it's an hour a day or eight hours, you know, whatever you do it so that you can do the things that you enjoy. Absolutely. And, and most of that for, for most of us, I think comes down to like being with your family. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So why wouldn't we extend that as much as we can? And, and, and we know and the, the way right? and pass and, it on. Pass, pass it, it on. on. Right. Absolutely. hundred yeah, percent. That baton. For sure. hundred yeah, I mean, percent. The way that they learn is through watching you. It's not through any of the bullshit that you right. say. It's like, example. Son, do this, this, and that. He's not going to do any of it. Right. But if he watches you at the gym, taking care of yourself, if you're taking him to yeah. Planet Fitness or right. upgraded industries, no plug. <laughs> to work out with you, with then, then, dude, literally, you're, he's gonna just follow that. Behavior. He's gonna follow what you do. It's like, it's like if you tell your kid, "Hey, I want you to read books all the time." Okay. Well, if your son sees you, or your daughter sees you on your phone and never reading books, they're like, "Why the fuck would I read a book? No. You don't read books, at, Dad? exactly." I'm not gonna be a reader if that's not what you do. So right. you have to be if you want to make that or not make them, but. Try to teach them Set to do the these example. things. Set the yeah. example. They learn from you. And also to say uh, to the whole thing about everything, like going to the doctor and everything, I think the best way to do this is set a goal. Be like, hey, I need to get this checked out. Make the appointment. Therefore, you're locked in. Right. You have to go do it. Okay? Like well, you said, it's not it, something you want to do. It sucks. Right. And that's a but good go point, go do though. it, and then you're like, okay, I have to do it. This is going to take, what, maybe an hour or two of my life. Ish. Right. Ish. 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 Yeah. But it could save your life. I've that's always the been, like, my wife harps on me. Like, you need to go get your, oh. uh, your cholesterol checked. You need to go get your uh, blood pressure checked and everything. I'm like, I'm fine. Exactly. And, like, she would, she would harp on me, harp, and this was, like, maybe six years ago, seven years ago. And she's like, you need to go. And so she made me an appointment. I'm like, fine, fuck it. You made the appointment. I'll go. I'll go. It was in my calendar. I right. went and they were like, hey, your blood pressure is ideal. Hey, you're fine. And I was like, I'm See ideal. That? I'm even ideal. Need to go. Babe, I'm ideal. And she's been bugging me ever since to go back. I'm like, I'm fucking ideal. I did it five years. I did it five, <laughs> like, I, I, did, I did it five years ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm ideal. And like, what an asshole for me to just like. But you're but, right, though. My wife is the number one. You need to go make this appointment. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. Right. Just listen to them and just do it. I mean, yep. again, like going back to like the maintenance aspect of, of the what car. we do, like yes. the car, the computers, the, yep. you know, the, the, just the, I mean, all around the house things the you have to do to do, to make it better. Right. right. Like we're constantly coming up with stuff. Time. We're investing time. We're investing energy. money and energy. But make and we're a saying, better let's do this, but self, but you're not going to take care of yourself though. 
That's right? crazy. It is crazy. And it's it, so funny though because it's such a th- thing, and it's not just us as a group. It's no. a guy thing. It's a, just a, it's a it thing. Is. Well, it's not even a guy thing. I think it's a it's a human thing. Yeah, I feel right. like Fair. it's a human thing. It's right? like it's yeah. like you know yeah. what? If if I don't go do this, then it's not a thing. It's not it's not real because no. I, I have I'm not I'm avoiding it. Right. You're avoiding the in- inevitable. You are. So Maybe what you need to do is. is just go, and and that goes with your kids too. Maybe that's like we've had the people on the podcast of... who it's like my son has this going on with them. I was in denial for the longest time. No, get it taken care of. Right. Get it checked out because you know what? Maybe there is nothing there. But wouldn't you rather know for sure? Well, what's the harm in it? There's no harm. And I think that's my message: is get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, that's you know you're what? absolutely that's right. for it's, sure. It's uncomfortable to go to the doctors. It's it uncomfortable is. to be told like Steve. Your testosterone level is 219, bro. You literally have it of an 80-year-old man. It's uncomfortable to get told that, like, hey, you got a pulmonary embolism. Yeah. But to your point, you got to freaking know before you can do anything. At least you can do something about it then. And then you're like, you know what? Here we go. I have this. Let's deal with it. Back to your earlier example, like getting that genetics test would then, it would suck, but it would at least tell you that, okay, every year now, Ian, you got to, or. It's okay. Every year, Steve, you got to get screened, right? Yeah. And now you're going to, you're going to do that. Yeah. And inherently, then you're also going to make better choices throughout the year because, so like, hey, if you want to avoid having this, this is what you need to do. Y Just y like, like any other evaluation, whether it's at work or whatever, like you don't want to go to the doctor and be like, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm another twelve pounds this year. Yeah, I'm another thirty two. Exactly. I'm this year. Ideal. Yeah, I'm right, ideal. Right. I want to stay ideal. I'm right, ideal. Right? So you know what? I was told I'm ideal. I'm gonna stay ideal forever. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's the thing, but, though. But it's so. You but you're to told that. that exactly. And you're gonna do things throughout the year. Maintain. Maintain. To make sure that because you're now accountable to going to the doctor and like, like the last thing I want to do is go to the doctor and tell my wife that I'm not ideal. So that was rough. I, yeah. That was rough. And well, that was just us. I, was, I wasn't even talking about that, that but was I was talking about just, like. But, to, to but, but you're right. I imagine, on, yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't even know what I would do. But I can't think, imagine. Think about like anything, though. You're like, okay, I'm going to finally go to the doctor. And you find something that's really wrong. You're like, imagine going home and saying, like, I have this. You know what I would do? I would do that damn movie with Gerard Butler where he just left her a bunch of cool shit. P.S. I love you. That's what I would I never do. saw that one. Oh, it's such a good one. Is it a good movie? That. Yeah, he literally... I'll like, have to watch it with the wife. I do dude, like Gerard Butler. The dude knows he's dying, right? <laughs> yeah. So, and he just basically leaves her... Sparta. This is Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> Best kick of all time. Oh, it's literally a Amazing. Kick. Those abs. Um, yeah, those CGI, abs. Those bro. CGI, bro. Whatever. Abs. No, Gerard was legit, dude. CGI, He was bro. legit. I don't know no about the other chance. guys. I saw him in... Never mind. Two Raider... <laughs> <laughs> Tomb Raider. Wait, was he in Tomb Raider? Oh, he oh, was yeah. in Tomb Raider. He was in like the second one, I think. I, he was like the uh-huh. old ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> well, listen, I, I got no ground to stand on. I'm talking about a love movie, all right? PSA. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. True, we true. Already I'm talking about his ass. So we, we made the cool guy movie. Like, yeah. Oh, we never yes. seen that. Yeah, I never done that, yeah. dude. Uh, P.S. I love you. And he was like his abs, though. <laughs> yeah. I know. I made it so much worse. Those abs. Have Did you, you seen, seen his abs? His, cr- his pecs just bouncing when he's throwing a spear? His crotch root. <laughs> You know, the root See region. The guy with, a, with a spear and his shield. Oh, it's Ugh. so spirit. He's <laughs> so spirit. He had a lot of spirit. Um, you know, it's it's um, it's one of those things. And he just basically left all of this stuff for her to to reminisce about their relationship and their life and all this stuff. So it was like a. It's kind of like it's kind of messed up. It was like mist, you know, where you would. You, she would. He knew intuitively that she would like go to the bar that he played guitar at. Yeah. So she went, and then when she went, one of the dudes there like had a message for her from him, you know, uh. and then that took her to another place, and basically it just leads her on all this path to say, basically, I love you so much, even though I had to leave you, um, and you don't understand. This is what was wrong with me. Right. I mean, that was his way of dealing with it. Yeah. I don't even know what I would do, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, See, there's. <sighs> Such a right, fucking terrible but thing the, to think it about. Really the point, though, <laughs> subject. But the point, Who thought though, of this subject. <laughs> but the brought point, this up. This is wrong. <laughs> the point, though, is that if you can catch things early, now you have a choice. You don't have to do P.S. I love you. Right. No, you, you just, just get those if you, abs. If, if you, you, you <laughs> figure it out early, Wait, do you get those? Abs? <laughs> yeah. Does, do, do do you just get the abs for <laughs> just getting checked you out? You may not get those abs. I don't know. So <laughs> if I go to the doctor and I find something out, will I get those abs? You, you might. You might. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, his abs were legit, bro. Okay? CGI, he was in, no, he was in like, I was going to say Maxim. 
<laughs> Do you guys remember like Maxim? What was the other one? Know. There was like a couple of those magazines. Uh, like, ah, oh, there's so many. There's a couple of different ones. They're oh, so shit. good back in the day, the before like the Chive the when you had magazines. That's literally what chive. it was. It was magazine version of Chive. Yeah, which but anywho, Chive's not even a thing anymore. No, well it is. They have Chive well, TV yeah, playing over at uh. Yeah. yeah, but it's more about like parkour. Yeah, no, it's like it's like <laughs> it's like fail video, we which is do, awesome. We could do hard. Core parkour right in here. Yeah, we could. So yeah, absolutely. absolutely. He's got a casting coach. Sure. Co- coach. Casting coach. <laughs> casting couch. I told him he should have got a black leather couch. I Welcome know. to Steve's <laughs> casting <laughs> coach. Coach. Dude, I'm your coach today. Couch, Take off we would your totally coach. do the podcast on the couch. Oh, we just sit on the couch the whole time. <laughs> That's fine. We, no. we would wipe it down with Lysol you, wipes you, first. Do you cross or, your legs or what do you do? You can do whatever you want. You could. <laughs> Teach their own. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Spread eagle. We don't judge. He just we have a lot of different ca- camera angles. Like, whoa, whoa, dude, we're just bro. having a podcast, man. What are you, know, what are you doing? It's been a long day. I've seen I'm a lot of videos. <laughs> <sighs> amazing. <sighs> All no, right. I, I, I think that's an amazing, uh, number one, thank you uh, for being uncomfortable about it because I can't imagine that could, would ever be comfortable. But no. I think, you know, one of the reasons Steve and I talked about doing this podcast was we recognize that we had each other bounce shit off of like being a dad is scary, right? Like, yeah, yeah. you it find out that your wife, girlfriend, whatever is pregnant. You're like, what? Right. Like I remember I didn't talk for like seven minutes. I think I chugged two beers before I even said a word when They're my wife told me ISIS too. I think yeah. they were Miller lights. I was Molson triple X. Oh God. Ugh. Straight out of Canada. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but no, like, like it's scary, right? And like one, one of the things we said is like, look, if we can reach one kid mm-hmm. who finds out like, oh my God, my life is over now. It's like, no, it's not, bro. It's not actually like, it's actually just beginning. Yep. It's just getting awesome. And like, this is no different. So like, I'm telling you right now, like you've definitely inspired me. I'm going to go get a primary care. That's awesome. it's, it's it's funny because now that we're sitting here thinking, I'm like, I feel this pain in this area. Like, in I'm like, I need to make an appointment. Region. Like, yeah, like all these, I have to go to the bathroom, but I have like <laughs> oh, all these, okay. you know, I'm like, I should make an appointment for this, this, and this, because this is the, the type of stuff. And we have this people, we have guests on here. It's like, wow, you're right about that. I never thought about that. This is what I should do. And this is like you said, why we started this whole thing was like the idea of, getting someone who's uncomfortable about being a new dad. Right. Reaching even further, something like this or anything, getting anything checked out or like for your kid being like, okay, my kid has extreme anxiety. Right. Or maybe he has I'm signs of autism or something like that. Yeah. Like, right. Let's, let's, let's go see somebody. Let's figure this out. And this could help somebody to be like, you know what? They're right. I should do this. I mean, what we have to remember is there are people out there that have dedicated their lives to learning about something and helping, yeah. right? Like, like we have all we have all the opportunities in the world. Do, like, whether or it's free, right? Exactly. I, <laughs> Just do it. Like, there, there are resources. I mean, we are we are so blessed to live in an era where all of the information is at our fingertips. We can pivot like whatever we want. All of it. Yeah. All of the pivot. information. We can pivot whenever. Yeah, we, we, want. Can we can always all pivot. pivot. And and, th- and I think that's actually a really good point, though. Is like it's never, I shouldn't say never. It's never too late to pivot. It's it's never too late to pivot. Yes. Why not do it before it's too, too late, late to do anything about it? Right? Get ahead like, of everything. Get ahead of anything that could possibly go wrong. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Because you're like right. you're afraid of the answer, afraid of finding out that you have something. Well, you know what? If you do, then you're gonna get it taken care of because they're gonna find out what's wrong. And we're gonna be like, and okay, so let's figure this out. Right. The end result is probably you're just gonna live a healthier life, which right. it's gonna make so it's gonna I, make you pivot. So and I've been you know, thinking, boom, I've been thinking a lot about this kind of stuff lately yeah. because well, you know what so, the, the 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 twenty four and twenty four. I was just gonna say, listen, that's that's one of the main reasons that I that I you know um, there was two things that called me. One of those things was obviously this. The other was that you're a fellow brother that's done the 24 and 24 and you like started, but I don't know what happened with you, but whatever. <laughs> um, like you were like there on the side and you were like, yeah, I'm going to run. No, gonna, I, was, gonna run. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm like, after I saw Ian do the whole thing, I'm it's like, you so know what? Hard. I'm going to like, I'm going to have to join Ian le- next year because yeah. he motivated me. I'll be honest. When he first said he was doing it, I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Can't believe you're doing this. It's insane. But I'm like, you know what? Watching him do it. Like I was there for like, what, an hour? <laughs> just to come there for like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah I just hung out with him for a little bit. And just, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, you amazing. know, I'm watching all these people and I'm yeah. like, you know what? This is for an amazing cause. Why not? Yeah. 
This is a day that's the of the best question right there. Why, why not? not? Why not a lot of things? Why not a lot of things? <laughs> like why not why? everything? I tell you what, that was what like uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. but Something that, like that. you'll never ever forget that. No, um, I mean, a- after having done it and and watching you go through it, it was the reason that I I kind of like propelled into you know messaging you guys, and yeah. being like, hey, listen, this is right because it just felt right because I knew that you were on kind of that path. Yeah. Something just kind of told me that, like, hey, like, you know, and you can't just run 24 miles in 24 hours and not have a knack for health, right? <laughs> you just, you can't. What? Right. So, and and that changes you in such a way that as a dad, especially, watching those kids, dude, when, you know, all right, listen, miles one through five um, and, and training up to it and whatever, it's for you. You know, you're just running and yeah, you got your agree. favorite music on and everything. And you're like, all right, cool man, this is awesome. My favorite playlist. Things are going great. You know, I'm doing good. Um, here's my selfie. (laughs) Right. And then like, you know, miles 10 through 15, it's like, all right, well, this is getting a little tiring, but you know, we're doing good. We're doing great. And then dude, I'll just fast forward because I don't want to take up all your time. You get to the end and well, hold on. Cause 15 through 22, fucking miserable <laughs> I mean, it can be it can be like um, like it's dark it's yes cold it's which i, I, mean, I kind it was of thrive on this is some of that i'm weird but okay. you know but but either way you, you, you as miserable as it might be it's still for you because you're like oh, right I'm enduring all this pain and like oh this sucks and my it bands and shit you didn't even know you had in your legs hurt and yeah right this and that and the other thing right hip and flexors then, i have hip flexors all yeah, of a sudden that's yeah. a thing didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> Because they fucking and hurt, then, and I'm, I'm you're up for 24 yeah. hours too. Like you haven't done, you haven't stayed up all. for 24 hours since you were in your 20s. Like right. you know I what actually, I mean? Like I do on a regular. Uh, okay, but that's well, the, there you go. Well, yeah, this guy does it all weird. the time. Um, so then you get to the end, dude, and so then when you're running that final lap and you see people that um, are cheering you on and in the stadium, and they're reaching over, literally yelling at you, trying to flag you because your focus is you have to be right. You're, right. You're, yeah, tunnel vision you going see them and you're like holy crap there's my best there's my people there's my crowd and then you run around and you get to the end and you're like okay we made it we did it and there's a sense of relief and then you go up and you see that wish kid and you shake their hand and then boom done That's oh my it. god every ounce of um humanity masculinity just gets dropped from it's your gone. body and you realize that this person this this kid was the reason that you did this this whole time yeah that's what the big Uh, picture is that was such a cool experience like i can't wait to do it again like i'm a we should do it together we should do it we should marco said he's even in yeah marco said he wants i i'll be honest like i don't know if you heard like my uh my spiel going into it like i was very um my team and I, for the daycare, we, we had a meeting in, like, I don't know, November or something like that last year. And we said, it was probably, like, a year ago, yeah. And uh, we're like, hey, what are we going to do in 2020? This is before COVID and was even a thing. What are we going to do to get our name out in the community, right? And so we're, like, looking at local events. And I was like, hey, I know of this thing. This thing could help. This could be great. Right. So I talked to Anna, and I was like. Who's, who's cool. Oh, it's yeah. Great, yeah. And I was like. Let's do this. What does it cost? Like, cool. Team sponsor, Sign writing the checks. Up. Sign me up. Right. And she's like, so, you know. By the way, you can't. Our sponsors sign up. run. got to run. I'm like, I don't run. Right. That's, That's not, not me. I mean, if the cops are after me, right? Do I? Right. <laughs> Sorry, will be can I, can I write a bigger <laughs> right. check, you know? Right. And she's like, no, so Dick. I mean, we're, do, are we killed? Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Are we, we're good. Um, we're good. So, yeah. But then I was like, she's like, just. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Because I knew of the event, but I didn't really understand it. And she's like, and then like, honestly, Anna, like hearing her talk about it, you're like, oh, I'm a big piece of shit if I don't do this. (laughs) Like, look at what you're dedicating your freaking life to. Like, I want to be like you. Let's do this. And I got really excited. And I started running. And then like the date got pushed back. And they give you year. the programming for it, and they're like, okay, week one, three yeah, miles. And you're right. like, all right. All right yeah, I can do okay. three miles. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. can do, my grandma, Steve's grandma can do oh, three yeah. miles. She crushes it. Yeah. And then the second week, they're kind of like, step it up, and they're like five or six. And you're like, mm-mm. Huh? Yeah, that seems like hey. a lot. And then by the, by the end of the thing, you're like, eight, eight, what? Yeah. How many miles? And then 
What you don't and realize. I didn't do any of that, by the way. No, me either. Yeah. And then you just ill prepared, right? Right. So, sorry, I didn't mean to cut. No, you off. you're good. Yeah, like, but you I just mean, do literally. it. Literally, you just did it. I was banking on, especially for my first year, was the internal fortitude to just be like, "Fuck it, I'm not going to quit." You know, um, I really, really wish that I would have trained better. Now I made it. I did you it. You did it. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Right. Uh, of course. With everything it is. always. But like now, I want to excel at it. Like right. I, I was able it. to do it and I, I'm grateful that I did it. And again, crossing that finish line, going to see Dude. autumn, like my tell wish me, kid. Tell me that wasn't like, I mean, that's like seeing your own kid get born. Dude, it was looking at in a mirror. Like there's this dude with a small business that I, I still don't know his actual name, his wife, who's a nurse. And then they're, they're five or six year old son and their three year old. Like it was like my family. Yeah. More crap and, like, than you could ever even imagine. They just got dealt a fucking shitty hand. Right. It's mm-hmm. not like they signed up for this. No, thing. of course no. not. And like, they were so positive. They were like, and I just kept thanking them. And they're like, why are you thanking me? Right. And I'm like, you literally made me a better human. Yep. For this whole experience. Yep. And I can't thank you enough for that. Since then, like I've been going to the gym, I've been eating better. I've been like, and I feel So, and I know this, you know, I'm a typical dude that, uh, whatever, we'll get inspired for something and I'll go work out for like six weeks straight and I'll be like, Oh my God, I feel amazing. Right. And then something happens and then I fall off the wagon and then like, I don't even realize it, but I've put on 30 pounds again and and I feel like crap. Right. And I'm. I'm using next year's 24 as the thing that keeps as you on those to, rails. To just keep going. Now, and again, it's been three weeks. So like, yeah. I don't want to say that I'm there because I, and I want to keep talking about it. So that way I, I force keep myself to do it because yeah. I feel great today. Yeah. yeah that's that, going to improve your life overall. Yeah. Just I'm not gonna shape. That was a huge thing. It, it, for some reason I felt called to come on, not just to share this word with other people, but to share it with you and to, uh, you know, I mean, listen, Steve's Steve's sexy, you know. Steve's, Steve's a specimen. We do call him the hot back. Steve's a specimen. He's fine, um, <laughs> you know. But no, no, I'm just kidding. It, it was that's uh, like six, by the way. Yeah, man, you're 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 on the. We get to your whole countdown. Yeah, it's uh, it's, a it's lot all right, of, man. Those calves. It's a lot of depressing shares. It's, it's I weigh like two hundred eight hundred pounds. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, like, I I just got this vibe that this was the right forum. This was the right time. And that's how I kind of live my life. Is well, I'm happy to hear that. Something that yeah. just kind of pushes me along. That's like, literally what our that. goal is. is yeah, to, absolutely. To, to not only inspire somebody to talk about their story, but then to inspire us so that we can reach the audience. Well, that's what it's all For about, sure. right? Oh, not, absolutely, Not just man. the talking dads, but life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we could sit here and joke about shit all day. We could yeah. do movie quotes and talk and about sports that, right? and everything, and that's great. Yeah. You gotta but have when, that. You get, when you get down to it, like, what's really important, right? I mean, being a father... Have you know taking care of your kids and being here for your kids, right? And being inspired to do different things and improve yourself along the way, and this helps people push to do those things because yeah, we could sit here and be like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, but really, are you fine? No, none of us are. No, and we don't. Well, but a lot of things well, we're not fine better, with them. It's like we don't know it until you go find out. The the better question is is fine okay, dude. That's a great question. And that's you know what I mean? Like, why are, we, why are we settling Boom. with fine? Where we shouldn't. Wow. With a, in, in all aspects of like, life, like never. Here, here's a question that every dad should, or every parent should ask their yeah. kids. Are you okay with your kid being fine? I'm going to say no parent There's is no okay. parent no, no, ever. You want your kid to be. Well, the, I shouldn't say that. No. Like, no. Everybody's no, different. You should not be okay with your kid saying, I'm fine. Right. Like, I want you to be fine. Freaking great! Right. When you yeah, I want you to be great, and I want you to tell me what's. You, you drive home from school, right? You're like, "Hey, how are you doing? How was your day?" Fine. Fine. You're like, "What? No, no, no talk to me. Like, Come on, what's going on? Yeah, what's, how was your day? Can we fine. Do to help Who pushed you? you in the hallway? Why yeah. is his we, name? I'll find him. Yeah, I'll find him. Yeah, <laughs> right, Son right, of a right. Bitch. right. But why do we accept fine for ourselves? We shouldn't. You're, but we you're absolutely right. But it's back to that car analogy. You know, we 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 get the Toyota taken care of, but we can't like take care of ourselves. And yeah. There's something wrong there, and that's what, that's what I want to expose. That's what I want to highlight, and uh, I thank you guys so much for having me on and let me speak my truth and get get comfortable, a little bit more comfortable, being uncomfortable. Right. I, I think, honestly, that's what life's all about. That's a, and that's a great yeah, message. Yeah, I mean, that's, I that. and that's what this is all about. So we appreciate you sharing your story because this is for everybody. Yeah. And, like, it helps 
us too because I'm like because just I want to go. The, like, the, the thoughts running through run. my head right now. I'm like, okay, I need tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna start scheduling some appointments because, yeah, there are times where I'm like, well, maybe I do have low T. Maybe I do have something wrong with my heart. And a lot of times, yes, yeah, searching Google is a do terrible thing. Right, I thought, I, thought no, right. I, I remember I had a pain in my stomach this one time, and I'm like. It literally told me I had five minutes till I was dead. I'm like, yeah, you, you have five minutes to live. You better get to the hospital or you're so dead. It's so funny like, that you said that. It's literally how, that's what how, you find on Google. You know, Marco was telling me the other day, he's like, I, and I'm not going to get into details, it's probably HIPAA and plus Marco's like, dude, seriously. <laughs> but like, you know, we were in the hot tub and he's like, I probably got about four minutes to live, you know, because he was Googling the symptoms, you know, yeah. and it's the same thing. And that's Marco it's though. It's a dark too. road. It's a dark road. Don't it is though, because Google's it's terrible. freaking hot Google's tub, horrible. by the way. <laughs> the hot sorry, tub. Marco. Sorry, Marco. You're sitting in the hot tub. I'm sorry. In the hot tub. But yeah, man, it's true though. I'm like, yeah, just go get it checked out. Go see. And then like, that goes for you. That goes for anything, can, like anything that you're like, Concerned about with your kids, like hey, get yeah. it checked out. Why with not? Your wife, like, or your wife with your friends? Because listen, can you imagine life without your wife? Oh no, I mean, so, cool. so hardcore. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doctor Seuss, nice. wife. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, wife, but man. No, I mean, your friends, your colleagues, your whatever. Like, Just there's people that you are in your them. circle, your network. That like, we should all be looking out we for should. each other. We should. We should be like, hey, man, listen, this is a concern, and, and it's not a big deal. Just go get it checked out. Just go get it checked out, man. Like, hey, it's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, that's, hey, you're going to have to pay a little bit to go to the doctor, but that's what your insurance is for. That's what I'm all about. Not this whole, it's going to be fine, Steve. Yeah. That's hey, just what you happens. Know what? Oh, you, you have that? Like, you have you have this weird pain? You have that weird lump on your chest? Right. That's normal. You're probably fine. Don't worry about it. Dude, right. I had the same thing. Like, it's fine. It went right. away. It's cool. It's yeah. like a pimple. Like, oh, I had a pimple the other day. Popped like, it. I don't want a pimple. Yeah. What's Where's the Where cream? I, yeah. Right. How can right. I take right. care of this whole you know? thing? It's no different. I think the big message is go take care of it. Thank you. That's well, it, and, right? and encourage each other to take care of it and not be like, <laughs> yeah, cool. Like, pussy. As guys, that's what we do. That that's yeah. what we do because it's a defense Steve's mechanism. Right. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Wow, what a, what a, what a, what a little are. bitch, man. You probably yeah. are a little. Yeah, yeah. 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 What a bitch, man. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. bet you can't even bench your yeah, body weight yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Like, what do you bench, like 120? Yeah. Right. No, go get that shit checked out Seriously. and to get it all figured out, man. And then, and then be better for it. And then be better for and it. And the brotherhood, like you said. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I truly believe it takes a village to raise an idiot. It certainly has taken uh, an entire, um, I say this a lot, but an entire county to raise me. Um, and I'm still nowhere where I want to be. But that's the important takeaway is that, like, you know, let's be here for each other. None of this, this BS and the media and all that other stuff where there's all this division and everything else. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Take a look around you, audit your circle. Shit doesn't matter. Allow like, people no. that are yeah. in big, your circle big to here. be a part of it and really help them out, empower them, talk about stuff. Don't disregard it. And if someone confronts you with a problem or, or something that they're having, don't dismiss it, encourage them, support them. You know, and this is one of those things. And it means the world to somebody. Cause if you go to somebody with a problem and you're like, Hey, I, w- I have the courage to tell you what's wrong. It's huge. If someone's going to be like, yeah, whatever. Cool. Yeah. And I think that's something that people don't understand about guys is that if a guy's coming to you with a problem, and, and I hope people are listening, if a guy's coming to you with a problem, he's already cliffhanger. Right? Absolutely. He's yeah. Sylvester Stallone. He's the, what was that Jim Carrey movie? <laughs> he's it's just, uh, uh, Ace, Ace Ventura, uh, Ace Ventura too. With, with the panda. With the raccoon. Oh. Raccoon. He's, he's Trash like, panda. Oh. Yeah. And he's on the edge. Yeah. He's right he's there, man. He's already there. He's right. already, if, if a guy Trash is coming panda. to you with this, He's already hanging on the edge, so don't. Which it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. But, you're right. but if if if, like, if 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 they get to the point where they're like, "Hey, they're telling you something," pay attention and help them out. Right. Right. Don't don't just dismiss it so that they can fall off the cliff by right. themselves. Be there, you know. A hundred percent. And I think and I think also like, say for example, Ian's doing something like, "Hey, I'm gonna go get this done." Like, you know what? That's a mo- enough vo- motivation for me to be like, I you know, know what? I should do the same thing. Yeah, I should. Yeah, exactly. Like, share the results. Right? Yeah. Just be like, hey, man, this hey, is what I did. My maybe you should. My triglycerides are seven. What are yours? Yeah, what's yours at? Well, maybe I should go get that checked out. <laughs> mine are 7.5. I don't know, Margo. Son of a bitch. I can get mine up to seven to five. God I don't damn it. I know, Margo. <laughs> Why is the floor wet, Todd? <laughs> mine are so high. All right, let's transition here to. Yeah, we need to get some. Uh, some proud. Yeah. Dad you have to moments. Do stuff? You yeah, have to do something. Do stuff. You have to, we to quiz you. Oh, wow. So yeah. hopefully you're get th- some more white claw. Yeah, get some Ooh. claw on there. Woo. Wait, I have a question. Are you always a lime guy? Yes. Always? I'm a huge yeah. lime fan myself. I'm sorry. I can't I'm not gonna mess around with anything that's not lime in this this iteration. Okay. The only <laughs> other thing I'll drink is 19 crimes, because that's my that's my go to. Like the wine? 
the wine. But I won't do that here because it makes me a little sleepy. Okay. Sleepy's not good. I oh, not. wow. Are you sure so about strong. that team, man? That team is out of his way, high. man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Nugenics. Uh, is that what the uh, Frank Thomas, the big hurt, right? I hear that what? commercial every freaking day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have low testosterone. Yeah, look at that. Jeez, that candidate didn't stand a chance. No, it mm. certainly didn't. Watch this. Yeah, you should see this glass. Except I have to clean it up. Whatever. <laughs> so I won't. Are you so bleeding? I won't. Are you so bleeding now? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> I did cut. I. I I sliced my, my thumb. My fingers hurt. <laughs> Do you guys have a Band-Aid? Anyone else's fingers hurt? <laughs> I don't think thought. so. <laughs> what? Best character ever. ever. Ben Stiller? Oh, my God. Please. By the yeah, way, he was just, so that character was in a new movie just recently. Really? What? On Netflix. The, the Huey? Yeah. Don't watch it. Wait, what? No, I started to watch it, and I don't know how I feel about it, dude. Huey, Huey Halloween. It's dude, like literally every Huey. Adam Sandler oh. character that's ever existed is in it. Like O'Doyle? Yeah. <laughs> dude, O'Doyle kids no are in way. the first 15 minutes of the movie. I'm like... Really, you're gonna and pull then, out O'Doyle rules? And then Ben Stiller is the guy is at the, the, nursing, the home. nursing home. Guy? Yeah, he's so in there for like the a second. Is Adam right, Sandler must beginning. have signed like a million movie deal with Netflix? He and did, and, and he said, Whatever, "Fuck it, we'll just put like, it out there." He, he literally said after what was that? Uh, whatever movie he just made, the serious one last year, right? And oh, I think he said uh, like if, if he didn't win any awards, he was gonna make some shitty ass movie. Oh, he and put did it out. say that, yeah, and he yeah, did yeah. because and that movie was awful. Really? I had it on in the background, and I'm watching it. I'm like, dude, the voice. I can't even understand a word he's saying. I literally like, can't wait. To it was like it Billy tonight. Madison mixed with uh, Waterboy. Yeah, uh, Bobby Boucher, and then like every other movie he's ever done in the last. And six it, years. It is, I love Adam Sandler. I do but, too, but you know, I do too. Well, but I that love movie Adam Sandler pre like 2005. Dude, this this whole thing was just. Him being like, you know what? Fuck Although you guys. Was 15 years ago. It was so bad. Yeah. It was but still, this whole this movie was not good. It was bad. I'm going to watch it. Don't yeah, just don't. Don't do it. Just don't. No? Just right, don't. It's a waste it. of time. Just go, gonna, go watch like Stranger I'm Things over again. support, and I'm not going to do it. Okay. See? There we go. Point made. Thank you. Episode over. We just saved Point you an made. hour of it's your time. It's literally not least. over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, because we have a proud dad moment. Yeah, proud dad moment. So, I don't know if... So, we like to do proud dad... or. We do. What we do. Um, for me, a proud dad moment really uh, makes a guy think about things that he's proud of, which we don't often take the time to do. Um, and I think it's really important. Uh, like one of the things that we get to do is do the show every week, and I then consistently think about things that I'm proud of because I want to think about it, and I hear something that our guest has talked about, and I'm like, oh. I want to replicate that behavior. So proud dad moment. What do you got? Yeah, 100%, man. Um, so my proudest dad moment, which I actually stole from, again, once again, one of the um, social media um, guys that I follow. I don't want to use the word influencer because it just, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, um, Sean Whalen, you know, mentioned a long time ago, date your daughter because there's no, there's going to be no, better way for your daughter to understand the the man that you want her to meet than you dating her yourself. Okay. And so one of the things that I'm proud of is, is dating my daughter and taking her out. Um, and I try to do it on the regular. Um, it certainly is not nearly as much as I would like to do, but I will take her out. Um, we'll go to a restaurant, I'll buy her flowers, you know, um, we'll, we'll go through the whole ordeal and, I'll open the doors for her and everything and just make her feel, you know, 100% special in that moment because that's what I want for her. You know, that's, yeah. that's the guy that I want to pick her up on prom night. So I don't have to like load my Glock up. Like, yeah. So, oh, good. You know, yeah. take my daughter out, bro. Yeah. You have yeah. your friends I'm over there. I'm just sitting here cleaning yeah. my shotgun. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> <laughs> just so just so happens you're here oh, on gun cleaning night. Thanks for dropping by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, weird at this exact moment. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't want it to be like that. Um, right. You know, I want it to be genuine. I want her to already be armed <laughs> with um, the knowledge of what a guy should be like and who she should be with. And that's awesome. Um, what better way? Once again, talking about you can you can say a bunch of stuff but there's no better model than just doing it. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so I do that. And that's, that's something I'm really proud of. Although I will confess that at the last um, daddy daughter dance, she basically blew me off. <laughs> so if you're listening to Laney, yeah, you messed up. <laughs> you done messed up. Wow. wow. <sighs> yeah. Well, I have to say with that, what you just said is a mixture of a proud dad moment 
and a dad hack. I, I literally, I was thinking the same thing, dude. Okay. So you just, man. I don't know if we've ever had. I was gonna say that might be a first time slash dad, slash dad hack. hack all at once. Wow. Took us okay. uh, what episode are we? Seventy three, three ish. Yeah. Okay. So wow, man. Wow. Congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations, what, what man. Did I, what did I win? Oh, uh, we'll a high give five you some stickers or something. You got some stickers. Let's do, let's do the fives. All right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, no, that's really cool. I I was actually just talking to my wife the other day. I was like, when do I get to do like daddy? Do-? Do whatever you want. Yeah. You're right. Whenever you feel like it, do You're whatever right. you want. You're absolutely right. Well, you know what? We may have- and we do like we do go out on like um like I'll do solos. My, my son gets really excited for boys' night. Right. We'll go get wings and we'll watch baseball or or whatever. We'll Mandalorian watch a- watching. Oh yeah. hell yes! We'll, it's on we'll right do now. By the way. Uh, it is right? new episode. New episode tonight. Um, you get home? Disney Plus. And my daughter, Boom. she loves going. One man. And she- <laughs> Delorean. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I, I I probably don't do it enough with my daughter, and I don't know why, because like she's literally here, my here, favorite. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, though. It's like it's like you feel like with the older one, they're more, they know what's going on a little so bit more. So you're like, so you're, you're, so you're like, maybe I should pay more attention to him. Like, but at the same time, because I, I do it more with Sam as far as like yeah. the, uh, like the one on one type thing. Yeah. Like tonight. But does he ask, or does he like say I want to go with dad? Yeah, he does. Sam wants to be with me at and all times. what does times. Ben say? Ben doesn't give a shit. He, right. he, he loves mom. And Same. He, he, he's like, and he, he's so like, like, I don't think gender matters because like, no, we'll like, be like, hey, who wants to go? Or my wife will be like, hey, who wants to go to Target with me? And Sloan will be like, I want to go to Target. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, me and Gibbs are going to hang back yeah. here and all watch right, cool, the we'll Avengers. Do this. Right. Exactly. We're going to do some awesome <laughs> right. shit you then. Know? Cool. So you guys have fun at Target. Daughter, four? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Start now, man. Yeah. Start, yeah. Start but up. like, I'll I'll ask her, and sometimes I'll pick her up early from daycare before yeah. we have to go get Gibbs. Dude, and pick we'll her go... up early with daycare with a flower. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. See? Pick her up with a with a bouquet of flowers, <sighs> and then take her out to her favorite restaurant. Maybe it's like, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's BJ's. You know, where she gets some chicken wings or something yeah. silly. Or maybe it's maybe her restaurant is is Red Robin. You know, yeah. what it doesn't matter what it right, is. Right. It doesn't matter. Just take her out to the favorite yeah. one. Get her some flowers. Do it up. I'm gonna do it. Boom. I'm absolutely gonna do it. I like it. Good call. She'll guys. be excited. I think she, she will. will. And yeah. I'll be excited. And those, those types right. of things, like, like you said, start it now. Yeah. Because eventually they'll start remembering these things right. and it'll stick with them forever. Exactly. I right. still remember a lot of stuff that my parents did with me, like solo type things. And I still remember a lot You'll of that never shit. Never forget that no. stuff. No. Yeah. So I'm all about it. Yep. Uh, all right. So, dad hacks. You kind of gave one. Yeah. I mean, you definitely, you definitely gave, gave a dad one. hack. I mean, you could do another one if you want. If you have another one in mind, you can do it. If not, that's okay. You don't have to to reach into the old tool tool bag anymore. Yeah, like you know, like we, you're good. I think I, honestly, I think you're good. But if you have one, I yeah. wanted to give you the opportunity in case you had something specific that no, you want to say. If you don't, it's I, okay. You know, I'm thinking about it. I. Let's we just, just cut this whole. Let's part keep out. it simple. Let's keep let's it simple. Keep you it nailed simple. it. You did it. No, all I, in one segment. I, I, I there, you're pretty amazing. I think it's pretty impressive that you did a dad hack and a proud dad moment in the same. And they're great, man. Those that's great advice for anybody. Yeah. So that's awesome. God, I'm gonna do a lot of shit now. I have a lot of things to think about, Dude, and that's I'm, what I love I'm about excited. this whole thing, man. I'm pumped up. I'm go see all sorts of yeah. doctors. I'm gonna take my daughter out. Yeah, I want to do it again. Be a better human. Yeah, I will throw a dance for you guys. You want to have a father daughter dance? Come to my house. Yeah. You know, I'll get the lights going. I'll play some nice music. There's an alarm going off out there. There is an alarm. Sure is. That's alarming. Jeez. It is. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, I mean, all great stuff, man. Thank you. You uh, got us thinking a lot, which is great. And that's what this is all about. It is. And thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. It's been great. (laughs) You guys are amazing. This whole time, I had no idea. Dude, that's amazing. What's that? What are you talking about, Ian? He's talking about that like that the whole time. I'm gonna drink some yeah, water. Yeah, get the water, maybe. <laughs> the alarm kicked off. Uh huh. <laughs> He's like, this guy's like, I don't know about this one. Yeah, right, next, your water next time we'll do a Russell Brand show. Okay. Um, a big that fan. was a, like a lead in to Russell Brand. <laughs> that was pretty good. I can actually do an actual Russell Brand. Really? That was really that was good. impressive. That was decent. That was like, yeah. Well, if you have any plugs or anything, you could plug it with uh, with that whole Russell Brand. Yeah, you want to plug Russell anything Brand? in Russell Brand? That's the caveat. You have to do it. What's the plug? Well, like you can plug, plug anything, anything you want. Well, you kind of plug like, be... yeah, all right. <laughs> I want everyone to know about Marky Fresh and how fresh my hair is. 
<laughs> it is very yeah. fresh. It is fresh, man. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just appreciate you guys having me on here. This has been great. I want to do it again. Yeah. Um, want to do the 24 and 24 together. Yeah, I'm in. Making the pact right here. Bringing in as many guys as we can. Maybe we'll have like a talking dads like I would team. Over. Dude, you know what would be amazing? So there's what, 50 people per team? No, it's 20 people per team. You know, I don't know. There's 10 teams, 200 runners. Okay. So that's uh, carry the two. Yeah, that's Minus 20. Minus one. 20. Uh, right. Ish. <laughs> I can't do math. No, no one told but me yeah. any math. In the show. So it's like twenty right. people. But I think we could fit a team of twenty. Samsonite, I was way uh, off. I'm <laughs> was definitely, way off. yeah, I was way off. I'm definitely going to sponsor another team because selfishly, that was the most amazing thing I've ever done. Yeah, uh, let's do it. And like, I've done some cool shit, but like, I, ugh. Let's do it. It's going oh, to hold you to your your track, like yep. you're talking about. Yep. So yeah, for it. sure. I'm in. I already told you're him. Like, I, 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 I said. uh the night I was there, actually, Ian's father-in-law and I bumped into each other in the parking lot. And he goes, why aren't you doing this with Ian? I'm like, that's a great question. And I'm like, I thought about that. And I'm like, you to know what? Fair. It hits you, dude. And I'm to like, I'm like so hard. All right. So don't feel bad about that. No, because don't. here's the thing is like when register, it's like, uh, you know, when our wives get like 17 computers out to get like farm park tickets yeah. for Festival of Lights yeah, or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Like. It's hard to get a spot. It actually is, especially like, with the COVID situation. Right. Here. It was even harder this year. But like, yep. and so like, this might piss people off. I don't know. But like, I didn't go on and register. And Anna was just like, well, you're a sponsor. So you have, you a have spot. to. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I was like, okay, should, I'll do it then. We should do whatever you know? we can. Maybe we do it as the talking Talk right, ads. right. That's what, that's what I, I wanted love to do, to man. Get a whole team together. You could do that's it as a, little scholars. We could, yeah. do it as, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, listen on a day. You, you can't peep in on this conversation. We're gonna figure things out, though. We will. Yeah, we will. We will. Take this off. Here's, a, here, here's the thing. Game, here's my motivation for a lot of things that I have to do. If, and this is like I've talked about it a million times, and it's it's probably growing stale. But if my son Ben went through what he went through as a you know, from when he was born until he was two months old, fighting for his life every day, and the kid went through more shit than I've ever had to go through in my entire life. If that little baby could do what he did, I'm like, I need to step my shit up and do something big. Because I, I know that kid could do anything he wants. And I'm like, you know what? I could do something that's going to be what one day out of my fucking, out of the year that I could run and do something out of it's out of my comfort zone. 100%. Okay, well, whatever, right? I mean. Here's the secret, too, is it's selfish. Yeah. And I'm okay with the two, by the way. Like, there is a, as you I, know, <laughs> I want to do it again just to get that feeling again. Right. It's because okay. I'm it's super high, so man. That's incredibly like, blessed that I don't have to worry about the screenings that my kids' test results come back on. I, mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about that. Like, these kids and these families, these parents have to, like, that is a daily struggle for them. Hell yeah. Like not even like let's take the financial part out of it, right? Yeah, because like, that sucks, of oh, course. Oh, like, yeah. that's a whole I mean, other I've level. seen some of the bills that you guys have gotten. Huh. Like, like it's not even like a real thing. No, it's, right. Like, but it's, how are it, you it, supposed to do it? And of course, it is real to you yeah. guys. I get that, but like, it's more about um, the things that that these parents have to go to. That I mean, I witnessed you guys go through your stuff with Ben, mm -hmm. and luckily, and, for and him, luckily was... everything ended up working <laughs> out, and like little asshole Ben like just crushes life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he, he took something that was a miserable diagnosis and just like kicked its ass. Like no. little yeah. Ben is Not just today. like, the kid is like just defied all yeah. odds. And yeah, he's like, a maniac. I'm literally afraid of that kid. Yeah. Like, I'm amazing. afraid of him too. Cause I don't think he's going to um, kill me one day. But, one like, <laughs> but these kids, like, kid. like these parents of these kids that that's what gets me more than anything. It's not like the kids. Yes, of course breaks me down. Oh yeah. But I, I look at the parents of these kids and like what they have to go through every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I've never had to do that. And like, how fortunate am I? Yeah. And I want that feeling you know of what breaking that would feel down. Like if you watched people like yourself walk up and yeah. shake your kid's hand. Oh, just oh for sure, man. I wanted to help them out. Yeah. Absolutely. Anybody who's even considering that's, doing something like that, like that's, that's big. Yeah. And that means the world to people. I got to be yeah. so bad. Yeah. yeah. No, we're we're, we're going to get to that right up. now. <laughs> <laughs> Same here, buddy. Yeah. No, let's, let's wrap it up and hands. we will do it again. Yeah. Uh, yes. Always Jim, more than welcome. Thank you so yeah, much. Appreciate uh, it. This is a lot of fun. It's been a lot. Yeah. Of Thanks for last. Me. So it's been awesome. Uh, yeah. Till next time. Yeah. Raise, raise good, good humans. humans. Thank you. Peace. Hey guys, if you love what you just heard or watched and we know you did, do us a solid and hit that thumbs up. Share with your friends and throw us a comment. 
literally about anything. Your support legit keeps us going. Oh, and don't forget to give us that five-star rating. We really appreciate you.